Welcome, guys. Let me know whenever you can see me. I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous. <laughs> Are you guys nervous for this one? I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, God. Freaking third chapter. It's always so wild. So, um, excited. But yeah, let's, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but welcome, guys. And yes, please, no spoilers in chat. I would very much appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome, Satsuki. Did you kill anybody this chapter? <laughs> you're on my suspect list. Even though I kind of feel like you're always on my suspect list, but you've been a good girl so far. Yay. Thanks, guys. Welcome. Also, thanks, guys, a lot for uh, all the support of my last video, too. I was really, uh, I don't know, just like happy and grateful when I was looking through the comments and stuff this morning. So thanks, guys. I appreciate it. But yeah, um, here we are. I'm just going to go ahead and get this started up because... I'm gonna look through like the evidence and stuff pretty soon. And um, yeah, I feel like, uh, doo -doo -doo. there it is. Okay, cool. And then bye bye, Kokichi background. Okay, we're gonna look through the evidence and stuff. Let me know um, if the music is too loud. I think it should be okay though. I always like change it for different stuff, so <laughs> we'll see. But, anyways, uh, oh, thank you, Carrot Tree Cake, for becoming an Omalander. Welcome to Omaland. You're gonna love it here. <laughs> It's so great. We get uh, weekends and holidays off. <laughs> you despair. It's so freaking cool, dude. Okay, is this the right one, actually? Oh, god dang it. Did I not load the right one? I was like... It's like, wait. God dang it. Okay, yeah, I didn't load the right one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're gonna keep on doing this <laughs> until I remember which load file it is. I was trying to go back and look at some of the... Okay. Okay, it's probably 8 then, right? Since it appeared on this one. Uh, God dang it. <laughs> Who chose the file? I should have looked at this beforehand. God dang it. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll just look at the last episode and see what happened. <laughs> We're gonna find the save file one day, guys. <laughs> okay, um, one second. Let me, um, let me just, I'll get the menu up. If you guys remember though, let me know. Probably should have looked at this. Uh, probably should have looked at this before um before I started. Probably. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, I accidentally clicked on my on my current video. Oopsie. Uh, wait. Sorry if you can hear me in the background. Weebyception. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, no, that's the. Okay, it's probably like right here. Sorry guys, I know this is like a really boring start to the stream. Yeah, come on, come on, talking to everybody. Do do do. It's like scrolling through. I guess I could put this up if you guys want to see what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> I'm just looking at myself. Okay, save. Wait. Where did I save? Oh, it's four. Okay, cool. <laughs> now we know. Okay, cool. Yay, we did it. <laughs> we did it. Anyways, <laughs> we are now here. We out here. Oh, wait. Did, uh... Oh, no spoilers. I'm sniping you. I'm ready to cry. Thank you, Kyoko Modki. Yes, please. No spoilers. Okay, um, we can go ahead and start looking through the evidence and stuff. I didn't get to rewatch things as much as like I wanted to um, last episode, or like for last episode, unfortunately. I was mostly trying to just like remember the controls because I feel like I'm always kind of <laughs> dumb about that. Well, last time I was kind of dumb about that. So, you know, I was like, I should probably look through the controls and stuff. I was like, where's the... Where's the... Um... Look at the evidence. I actually, I think I can look at the evidence once I go in here, right? I'll just do that then. But uh, we'll try to go through and look at the evidence and see if um, we try to figure out <laughs> who did it. I have like a couple of suspects, or actually three suspects right now. But um, I'll give you guys my opinion in uh, in a second. Oh, thank you, Kua Upa. Glad I can make it to watch the stream. DRA slash DR. Uh, SDR A2 are my favorite fan games. The story is so good. Hope you're having a lot of fun with it. Yes, I am. It has been super duper fun. I'm excited to try out the second game too because I know that one's really uh, 
like super popular because I had mostly heard stuff about the second game. I hadn't really heard a lot about this game, so I was a little worried, but it's been it's been so awesome so far. I've been loving it. But yeah, thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Alejandro. Mitch is 100% the culprit real. <laughs> of course he is. It has to always be Mitch. I'm going to fucking die if he's the mastermind at the end of the game. I've been like memeing on him so hard this whole time. It's like, oh, you actually were important to the story, Mitch. My bad. I shouldn't have been making fun of you this whole time. <laughs> Okay, then let's go down. I'll open the door. Do, 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 do. Of course, Ray. I knew who killed because I'm a girl boss. You always knew who did it, but you never want to freaking tell us. Like a girl boss. Like always, the elevator was making a loud sound and goes underground. The inside of the elevator was only filled with nine people left. Yeah, we really, like, our numbers have gotten so small. It was so quiet during this time. There's also a lot less people now. Is it because the relationship between us has worsened than the between uh, the first and second trials? Me in particular, I try not to make eye contact with some of them, such as Kinjo or Makaru. But Kinjo's your boyfriend and Makaru's your girlfriend. Come on, man. <laughs> not gonna make eye contact with them. I wonder if we will really be able to survive this time. We will see. De -de 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 -de. Ultimate girl boss. Versus a gorgeous girl genius win. Oh my god, I would love to see. Uh, I would love to see Ray and uh, Mew hang out. The elevator. The elevator stopped with a shake that we seem to be getting used to by now. Getting used to this crappy elevator that Monokuma has. Whoa, this is a, a surprise. Why are you in front of me, bear thing? Didn't you learn in kindergarten to think about the people who get off of an elevator? Monokuma has been doing this once or twice already, though. It's hard to react anymore. Um, um, why is he not saying anything? Has he been turned off? Uh, oh, oh why aren't you saying anything? Oh, this portrayal is just gonna be so messed up, Weeby. That's why I just, I can't, I'm just speechless. Why is Monokuma like this? I just watched the security tapes. This shit's crazy. I guess it's a new act. Hey, how long are you planning on doing that? We have to do the class trial. Are we going to move? Um, something seems different than usual here. Um, oh, uh, dude, she's been so sus, Makako. She'd be like, wait, I, I know exactly where his power switch is. Not, nothing weird about it though. I'm just gonna switch it on. <laughs> it's totally not because of the mastermind or anything. I mean, like, I don't think she is, but she was acting so suspicious when I was like looking through some of, uh, my last episode, I was like, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, thank you, Hippie Boy. Just want to do a little shout out. You are literally one of my favorite YouTuber streamers. Oh, thank you. Literally so wholesome and you make our days better. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Your dog is adorable, by the way, if that is your dog in the picture. Oh, he's so cute. Or she. <laughs> but thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, that uh, donation in the comment. That's so sweet. Oh, thank you. You guys are so nice. You guys make my day. You guys make my day, too. Kurokawa, touching that thing wouldn't do anything good. Huh? What? What's wrong, Makako-chan? Uh, she's been getting, like, she keeps doing that face. Like, I don't know. There's something really, like, Makaka-kuma. <laughs> That's it! My final form! Kurokawa was suddenly stunned. At first, she thought Monokuma was pulling a prank, but she noticed that the mood was different than usual. And then... Hi! Oh, my battery came back on! Eek! Oh, I'm alive! I live! You thought I was dead! That was just my zombie form. When Kurokawa touched it, Monokuma suddenly began to make a loud noise. What in the hell are you doing? Are you kidding around? Don't do that again! All of a sudden, my rack was stuck! <laughs> rack. <laughs> yes, my rack, my boobs! Have you not seen them, Weeby? <laughs> this is like the first thing I think of. I was surprised, too! Rack. Boo! Have you guys not seen that sprite of me in the bikini? Oh, it's beautiful. Boo! No big deal. Did you all come down here in the meantime? Well done! Then shall we start right away? It looks like you're trying to rush something here. By the way, wasn't Kurokawa's scream cute? <laughs> oh my god. Let's just move on. Dee do 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 dee do do. I was like, I get to see the stuff, right? <laughs> the, the stuff before we start, right? Yeah, I was wondering, I was like, did she fix him or something? Mono booba. <laughs> no. 
Yes, it's true! <laughs> Thank you, Alejandro, for the donation. Oh, thank you, Juni Saris. I've been subbed since 2017 and I love your content. Ah, oh, thank you so much for sticking around so long. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Also, I was like, who's your profile picture? Is that a, I think it's a, is that one of the BTS members? Maybe like Rap Monster? <laughs> but thank you for the, the donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, it's time for what everybody's been waiting for. The class trial is back, baby. Well, I, of course, knew this would happen. Nobody waited for this. Ah, oh, thank you, Hanny Walker, for becoming an Omalander. <laughs> Welcome to Omaland. I hope you appreciate, or I hope you enjoy the emotes in the Discord. Nobody waited for this. Whatevs, even if it's not you, there's another person who was waiting for this. Oh, uh, woo. <laughs> the chat, Weeby! I don't know, I was like, man, are we being broadcasted again? I can't do any more Team Danganronpa bullshit, man. <laughs> Anyways, this will be the third class trial. Your own relationships. Who has been paying attention to the trends of the nerds? Seem to be in a state of lockdown. As if it were breaking! Breaking! Shut up, I don't care about that. Don't bring up stupid stuff and start already. <laughs> oh, wow, thank you, Aaron. Uh, Gorillitz for becoming an Omalander. Welcome. We're getting a lot more Omalanders today. So many more Omalanders. <laughs> oh, man. I appreciate you guys and all the support, though. Shadower Jaeger, thank you for your donation as well. Monokuma was silent because he was still trying to figure out how, how Mitch is the culprit three times in a row. God, it's been so crazy that Mitch has been the culprit for every single trial so far. And how he's been the victim for every single trial so far. How does he do it? It was truly an icon. Excited but super freaking nervous to see what happens in this stream, dude. I don't know. I'm really scared Kenji's the killer. I'm gonna be real with y'all. He was given some major Celestia vibes last episode, and now I'm worried, and it's like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but who, who knows? Hopefully, hopefully it's not him. My other suspect is Makako, and um, I think after that, my third suspect would be Satsuki, just because she kind of gives me third killer vibes. Because I feel like, you know, it's always like the true nature is revealed in the third chapter. So I was like, it would be kind of interesting if she was like um, pretending to be dumb and stuff. But that's like, she's definitely like the lowest person on my like, you know, list of suspects. But anyways, just kind of throw that out there. And thank you Alejandro for the uh, 99 cents donation. I saw that a second ago. I don't know where it went, but I appreciate it. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Oh, and now Yuki Mori, I'm so excited for what happens. Yes, me too. Me too. Yeah, those are my three suspects. I think I think we can still look it's like we can still look through the evidence, right guys? Cause like I haven't looked through it yet. I just couldn't remember where it was in the menu. I thought I'd bring it up. I think it's after the scene, but we'll we'll look through it regardless, because I gotta look through that stuff. I was like, head empty. <laughs> okay. Shut up. I don't care about that. Don't bring stupid stuff up and start already. Oh boy, tough attitude I see. I was gonna start anyways. Now then, shall we go with no more words? An extreme trial, the class trial that crosses beyond life and death. Are you gonna do my little rap song for me? Life and death, death and life, love and light. The third, no, okay, he's gonna, he's gonna start. The third one, it's like, th that's my thing, Monokuma. The third one, the moment Monokuma said that, I suddenly felt disoriented. Even when you think that two victims and two culprits died, Four friends were already gone. Besides Mitch, in addition to the victims of this incident, so a total of six friends have left our group. Somebody give Monokuma a beat. I don't want to see this again. One of the victims this time was Inori. Oh, dang. Why is this music freaking bumping though, dude? <laughs> Somebody's gonna take this out of context to be like just jamming out with the Nori's corpse. Like, dang, this music is kind of... This kind of slaps though. Why you gotta play such awesome music while we're going through and mourning our deaths? So, mourning the deaths of our friends, Monokuma. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw Samugi said something. Webby, it's definitely Teruya. He wants the money. I don't. I don't even know if Teruya knows where he's at right now, man. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> the gay Teladubby. I'm really surprised he hasn't died yet, to be honest. He's not the most, uh, he's not the most, um, what, what you call it, uh, smart guy in the group, you know? Kyoka, it's on sight, killer canonical. I know. I know. It's so fucked up what happened to her. Oh, Alejandro Pacas, let's be realistic. Buff Monokuma is the culprit. I don't know, it might be a booby Monokuma. <laughs> when he had, like, the little, uh, the seashells on and stuff. He was talking about his rack earlier, so I think that might be it. 
<laughs> One of the victims this, victims this time was Inori. After the infirmary was open, she didn't know when someone would get hurt. So she spent most of her days in that room, a child with the most angelic heart I've known. <sighs> her free time events were so cute too. Oh my God, it made me so sad. It just made it so much worse. I've known who worried about us, our health, our happiness. When she started to get like a little crush on Yuki, it was just so freaking adorable, dude. Inori was that kind of person through and through. The reason she died was because her whole body became a block of char- Ugh, This killer is so freaking messed up. Her whole body was tied and unable to move. Someone who has done such a terrible thing is among us. Among us. God, why is this song hit so hard though, dude? This is such a good song. They also killed Yamaguchi and committed ruthless acts. The culprit. Although Yamaguchi was timid and behaved inappropriately due to his size, at important times he mediated the situation like a lawyer should and we laughed together. But then he was killed with a neck wound so severe that it was nearly amputated in cold blood. Yamaguchi was no longer with us. Oh man, a trial to uncover the killing. Killer begins now. A trial in order to live. A lie in order to live. Here we go. Here's his little rap song. I'm super upset they killed Inori. I know. He's so, she's so freaking cute, dude. I love Inori so much. It's so messed up. You know what you gotta do, Akira? You gotta go change. Uh, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta go change the heart of the killer. We're all counting on you. We're all counting on you and the Phantom Thieves. A trial in order to live. A lie in order to live. I'm sorry, guys. I can't help but dance. This music's just bumping. A betrayal in order to live. Duke. Oh my god, almost all these guys are rented out. Elaborating their will to live. For an excuse to kill. Using trust at the risk of life. Risking our lives in this class trial. Okay, cool. It's like, I was like, I'm pretty sure we get to go see this screen. I was like, I, I need some time. I need some time to go through my thoughts a little bit more. Akane Tyra, what do you think about Kanata's death? I mean, it was just freaking awful, man. I mean, it's like the most brutal. I don't know. Like, even compared to, like, the Danganronpa murders and, like, I'm trying to think of, like, all the murders and, like, the canon games, too. I mean, this is, like, really high up there in terms of, like, worst murder, like, ever like, that I've seen in a Danganronpa game like it is so fucked up and she's so sweet you know like oh man okay let's look through this stuff oh Connor the one always remember gaslight gatekeep god damn it bitch <laughs> we leave you alone for five seconds and an eighth of the cast ends up dead that is so freaking true <laughs> oh man <laughs> I love that dude I need to frame that that is beautiful it's always fucking Mitch's fault all this also thank you Connor I liked I really enjoyed a lot of your comments on uh, the mastermind series too because I recognize your username I think I just read one of your comments too uh, this morning on my video but yeah I I appreciate uh, the donation and the support. Monokuma file, 3-1. A file distributed by Monokuma. The details of the case are written in it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to take some pictures of this stuff cause like, I don't know, I was like, they don't let me look through this stuff later and it's like, I might need it. Okay, the victim was Kakura Yamaguchi. The estimated time of death was about 8.40. Found in the library, shortly cut from the back of the neck to uvula. The weapon is presumed to be something sharp and there is no other visible trauma. Monokuma file, 3-2, file distributed by Monokuma, freaking asshole who killed Inori. The victim is a Kanata Inori. Estimated time of death is approximately 8.35. You remember them saying it was like simultaneous? It's so weird that um she was killed first. Because I thought he would have been killed first since we heard her like screaming and stuff, you know. The body was found in the science lab. Death was electrocution. The internal organs of the body as well as the skin have been burned through the wet the wet body for a long time. It seems like nobody's really gonna have like a good alibi though, since like, um, whatchamacallit, um, it seems like it was just kind of set up to happen. I don't know how they set up Yamaguchi's death though. That's kind of like the weird, there's a lot of weird loose ends to like, I don't know, a lot, of, a lot of weird loose ends to this. Yamaguchi's body, we looked into Yamaguchi's body. As written in the Monokuma file, his neck was cut deep enough to be almost amputated. However, this song's bumping too, dude. I can't even, I can't even pay attention to what I'm reading because I just want to jam out. However, no more blood came out of the wound. It was not long enough after his death. Even so, why did he already have so much bleeding? Yeah, there was definitely like the blood bags. I'm guessing that's what Ray was covered in. As for the Monokuma file, his neck cut deep enough to almost be amputated. 
However, no more blood came out of the wound. Unless, like... Because, like, some of me thinks that, like, Kanata's was set up to go off, you know? But, like, the killer killed um, uh, Yamaguchi, like, you know? Like, right when they were, like, downstairs. If that's the case, then that would make all the people downstairs the uh, suspects. But then that basically leaves out like all the people i suspect <laughs> besides um besides um uh what's his face um uh no, 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 no. besides uh satsuki what's his face <laughs> joseph narvaeus thank you for the donation the contusion of the octopus the ultimate cause of death for everyone and i think that's some really uh <laughs> Got some really uh, big names for these uh, deaths. I was like, what did they say in this one? Like the uvula, uvula or something? But thank you for the thank, uh, but thank you for the donation. Also, I think I've seen you uh, around on the channel for a long time. So thanks for uh, continuing to support the channel. I very much appreciate it. Library bloodbath. Okay, a large amount of blood was poured from the body of Yamaguchi in the library up to the corridor in front of the door. Yamaguchi appears to have shed. But Kenny shed so much blood in that short time from death to discovery. In addition to that, there was a pit of blood under the body. This means that the blood didn't flow after Yamaguchi fell in the library, but rather his bleeding started and then he fell down. What happened here? Okay, there was a pit of blood under the body. Blood didn't flow after Yamaguchi fell in the library. <laughs> I have no clue how this happened, dude. I have no clue. Okay, I've shed, shed so much blood. I'm guessing the blood bags, like, I don't know, I'm guessing they have some kind of relevance here to Kenjo attacked. Who would do this to the perfect boy, Kenjo, who's never done anything wrong in his life? There was a blood stain from Kenjo in the library. He was said to have fallen unconscious a little farther away from the body, meaning Yamaguchi's corpse. There seems to be no struggle signs from Yamaguchi's body, so it seems that Kenjo was attacked after entering, the after entering the library and fell down, but I can't imagine Yamaguchi attacking Kenjo and getting knocked out. Yeah. That was another reason why I thought Yamaguchi died first, because it's like, I assume Kenjo would see the body and the killer would be like, oh shit, I better like knock him out, you know, but I don't know. Tyra's testimony. According, according to Tyra, she stopped stopped by the science room just before nighttime last night. However, the door to the science room was not open. Surely the door didn't open even when I found Inori's body in the morning. What's the reason for that? Okay. She went to the science room last night. However, the door to the science room was not open. So it was still locked. I can't remember exactly because I know she was like looking for a knife in there or something for cutting herself. Hmm. I guess we'll have to kind of go through this. And before Weeby is the killer and tricking all of us, <laughs> I was Mitch all along. <laughs> Dude, I gotta do a Mitch cosplay. Now that would be epic. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Guys, I'm really starting to suspect Mitch here. Yeah, I mean it was definitely Mitch. Let's <laughs> let's be let's be real. We know it was him. We know he's the mastermind. He's been killing everybody. Nobody else can do anything wrong in this game besides Mitch. We all know it's true. Bloody locker. This is a locker where Makaru was tied up. There's a lot of blood on the inside. Even if Makaru is unharmed, who is the owner of the blood? The blood wasn't sticky. It was almost dry and hardened. In other words, it is a blood that has been spilled for quite some time. There are already few conditions that can match. How did this happen? I'm like, this is so weird, dude. I'm guessing... Oh, man. Okay, so that would make more sense for this to be the blood bags. So then, was this not the blood bags? Because it's like not, they didn't mention anything about this being like super dry. I don't think so, at least. It seems like that's still pretty wet. Well, they even like color this one different. So I'm thinking that. Oh yeah, thank you. Oh my God, Joseph, thank, or Jeffrey. <laughs> oh my God, I can't speak today. Jeffrey, thank you so much. Member for 12 months, Hifumi. Ah, uh, oh yes, blood of lust, owie. It actually says, Oh, boob lust. I read it too. I read it wrong too. Ah, oh, yes, boob lust. He's just picking up Monokuma and his rack. It actually says blood lust. It actually says contusion on the octopus. I think it has an. I think an octagon has six sides. Do you guys want to be yassified that much? <laughs> or do you guys want to be yassified that much? Oh god, that's beautiful. I love that stupid uh, octagon meme, dude. Oh man, I remember that when I was making my last video. I was like, that was so dumb. <laughs> oh man, thanks for the donation. And wow, man, it's already been 12 months that you became a member. That's awesome. I appreciate it. 
Sumugi Shiragane. Guys, Makaro did it. She locked herself, obviously. I was like, I would suspect her more if it wasn't the fact she was like tied up and stuff. That would be very, um, a lot of dedication though, really. <laughs> if it was her, that'd be pretty crazy. Bloody Locker. Oh yeah, I think I already, um, what that is build. There are a few conditions that could match. How did this happen? I think I already read this one. It wasn't sticky, almost dried, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think I read that one. Uh, truth bullet, plaster weapon. So yeah, this is what cut Yamaguchi most most likely. It is a plaster weapon created in the art room. Besides, it looks like it is quite sharp and you can be cut if used wrongly. How did they put it back though if he was killed after Inori's death? I'm so confused. However, the location of the plaster weapon was a little strange. So while looking at it, I noticed blood splattered in a small dot circle on the blade. And how do they only get one dot on the plaster weapon after cutting his throat open? I don't know why the blood splattered in there, but the presence of blood may indicate that the tool was used as a murder weapon. Oh yeah, I need to... Maybe I'll just take pictures afterwards. Bloody white coat. This is the white coat Inori was wearing. Inori's body in the science room was not wearing a white coat, but only the white coat was in the art room. It's soaked in blood, but what did the killer use this white coat for? Dude, I would freak out if it was actually like Inori was planning a murder. I Surely that, there's like no way that would be the case because she's like so sweet and precious and pure and we all love her. But, um, I don't know, that that's just like a thought I had thinking about, you know, her coat soaked in blood and stuff. I just like don't, I don't know how this happened. I'm gonna be real with y'all. It's soaked in blood, but what did the killer use this white coat for? And who was the owner of the blood on the white coat? Maybe she was trying to do like a transfusion for somebody and that was how the blood got on there in the first place. Bloody tarp, it came out of the bag in the trash bin from the art room. There was a lot of blood on it and there was a very small black hole, back hole in the middle. If you look at the blood on it, it's very likely this object has a connection to the case. What was it used for then? Back hole. Okay, I think it's the little dot. It's supposed to be the back hole. And Ori's bo- Oh, dude, she looks so bad. This is the state of Inori's body, who died in the science lab. The whole body was tied with four folds and five layers of public box tape. And both hands were tied with ropes and fixed to the table. If it was tied- if I was- if I was tied up this much, I wouldn't have been able to bear it. How is that- however, what was the reason for Inori- what was the reason to tie Inori so thoroughly? For real, dude. It's like, man. Science lab, body was tied up in four folds. Four folds and five layers of public box tape. Where did the box tape from? Did we talk about that? Probably the antique shop. Man, I should really start doing inventory there again. It's too bad I always forget about that. There is a sink in the science lab where you can throw away medicines or wash your hands and the faucet there keeps overflowing with water. I think I've been listening to it for a long time because it overflows with water on the floor. What was the reason to make the room overflow? I love Yuki's like brain dead moments being like, how did they, how did they flood the, the science lab? Was it the faucet? No, no, it can't be. Ray's just in the corner like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, thank you, Junisaurus. Turiya is my favorite, really hoping he doesn't die. I know, I love that little gay Teletubby dude. He's so cute, even though he's not the brightest. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Hopefully he doesn't die. I don't know. I don't know if I really see him making it towards the end, but I also think I said that I saw Maki making it towards the end, so what do I know, <laughs> you know? What do I know? Broken mobile phone. It is a cell phone in a broken state after falling into a water lump. Water lump? In the science lab, it seems that someone set the alarm at 8.30, but other than that, the screen is also weird and most of it seems to be malfunctioning. Separately, it was tied with a stun gun and a strap. Is it a tool related to the crime? Yeah, for sure. It, I wonder. Stun gun. It's a stun gun that fell into the water in the science lab with a cell phone. As written in the Monokuma file, this would be the murder weapon that killed Inori. One thing that is curious is that it was connected to the phone strap. Anyways, if this is a murder weapon, it means that the killer took this and killed Inori. How was this possible? <laughs> Wooden board. It's a wooden board that was blocking the door of the science lab. At the time of the incident, I was able to enter the science room because of this. Makaru had to use an object to break the window of the door and remove the board. If you chose it while standing on the back of the underpass door, if you close it while standing on the back of the underpass door, it becomes an excellent class. I was like, how'd they even do that and then leave the room? Since I was able to enter the science room because of this, Makaru had to use an object to break the window and remove it. Wooden board that's blocking. It's like... 
Nah, I don't, there couldn't be anybody hiding in there because they would have gotten electrocuted too, you know? <laughs> Makari's testimony. I'm not going to tell you shit. That was what she told me and that's her testimony. Okay, cool. We love a girl boss queen. When I pulled Makaru out of the locker, she asked me to show my right hand. Oh yeah, I remember that now. And Makaru called this action minimal precaution for life saving, which, which it's her last trump card. If the trial gets blocked at some point and everyone is in danger of dying, she'll let me know. She'll let me know. Makaru seems to know something, but I don't like to let you guys know. Nana nana boo boo. I want to be entertained during the class trial, okay? Oh, thank you, that gamer bro. After looking over the last video, my two prime suspects are Kinji and Satsuki. They both seem like third chapter killers to me. Honestly, same. That was like literally my reason for suspecting them. Cause I was like, there's always some kind of true nature twist, you know? And I feel like Uihara, he seems really chill. He seems super cool, but I could see him going on some crazy rant and being like, I did it for father. Like instead of sister with Karekio, it's gonna be like, father, God, I did it for him. I don't know, I could see that happening, but also I could see Satsuki being like a third killer too. Cause like she acts so like stupid and like she has no idea what's going on. She's doing little dances in the corner while she's like, while we're investigating bodies, you know what I mean? So I could see it to where like, she's just pretending to be dumb the whole game. I potentially could see that. Makako I kind of suspect too, just cause I feel like she was highlighted a lot this chapter and um, uh, I don't know, I could kind of see her maybe having like a true nature reveal too that's like different than what we've seen, especially with like the hint of her being like, um, whatchamacallit, uh, talking a lot, not talking a lot more than we think she does. But uh, yeah, thanks for the donation, I appreciate it. Thank you, Fairy Tanaka, loving the series, really hoping it's not Makako. Don't worry, it's Mitch. <laughs> we already figured it out, so you don't even have to worry about it. Yeah, I hope not too. Basically, all my suspects I'm worried about, because I like everybody at this point, you know? Oh, thank you, Juni Saris. Also, yes, my profile picture is Rat Monster from BTS. <laughs> nice. I knew, I knew I could tell. Uh, I knew, I was like, I know Rat Monster when I see him, even though uh, it's kind of small pixels. <laughs> thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, Bakari's testimony. When I pulled up Bakari, oh uh, yeah, I think um, I already read this. Okay. Missing blood packs. The refrigerator for the infirmary's transfusion pack was empty. All of it. Someone took all the blood transfusion packs away. Was it the culprit? Are they a vampire? Oh my god. Why did they take something like a blood transfusion pack? Did they even need fresh blood? They just drink it, you know? It's still a big deal, Yuki. Don't you ever get the cravings for blood sometimes? Oh, thank you, Kyoka Monkey. Does Satsuki even know she's in a killing game? Yeah, I don't think she knows what's going on. She doesn't even know her name half the time. She doesn't even know she's a clown. Oh yeah, another thing I could see about like Sasuke being a third killer is just cause like clowns are so creepy, you know? Like I got bad vibes from her like the first episode cause I was like, oh no, clown, I don't like this. I have seen, what was that movie with the creepy clown um, that came out recently with like the balloon and stuff? Why can't I, why can't it come to me? I'm sure you guys will know once I like, what's it, what's the name like pinning? Pinning him? <laughs> it's like pinning him? I know that's not it. But anyways, clowns are creepy. That's what I'm trying to say. So I could see her being a third killer, potentially. It, yes, it. That's definitely what I was thinking. I was like, it's not coming to me. Kenjo's testimony. Just before the trial announcement was made, Kenjo woke up. He quietly disappeared, saying that he had to do a little investigation before he began. Pennywise. I was like, pinning him? I was like, I could not think of, uh, think of what the name was. <laughs> Dream Entertainment. Do you think there is accomplice this trial? Ooh, I don't know. I want to say no, but I don't know. We might, uh, we might find out. Ah, oh, that'd be crazy too. Oh, especially you have to like live with them after they did this or like helped with this like messed up investigation. Mm, I don't know. Who? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. That'd be pretty crazy though. Maybe. Maybe. I didn't really think about that beforehand though. Just before the trial announcement was made, Kendra woke up. He quickly disappeared, saying that he had to do a little investigation before the trial began. Yesterday, he mentioned that he found the pit and Yamaguchi lying down in the library. Yeah, so he already saw him lying down in the library. So it doesn't make sense that Inori died first. Why is the Monokuma file lying to me, dude? I don't, I don't get this. He mentioned that he found the pit and Yamaguchi lying down. Unless Yamaguchi was just like passed out then, but like... It is, something's not adding up here, dude. Lying down the library, he was attacked from behind at night, but according to this statement, it would mean the Yamaguchi was already attacked yesterday at dawn. 
Yeah. Was he attacked then, knocked out, and they like finish the job in the morning? Because it's like, I just, I don't know. It doesn't, it really like, I don't know. That whole thing's just like not making sense to me. You know what I mean? Like, something is not adding up here. Okay, I want to try to take pictures of the rest of these. Estimated time of death. So you're saying it could be like not, um, not 100% uh, accurate. I guess that could be the case. We'll see. I just feel like usually the Monokuma file is kind of like right on it, you know? But I guess Monokuma could be like, well, I said estimated time of death, Weeby. I mean, <laughs> shit, 8.30 in the morning, 8.30 at night. I mean, it's the same thing. It's estimated. It's estimated, okay? So don't put too much faith in it. <laughs> but I guess it's something to consider. It might not necessarily be the most, um, you know, uh, whatchamacallit accurate thing in the world so maybe i shouldn't put too much uh too much faith into it okay let's save why is seven i was wondering i was like why are five six and seven like this whatever i'm gonna save over seven okay ah, oh my god i'm so nervous i'm so freaking nervous so nervous okay 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 <laughs> okay they never put a and pm in the file that would be a crazy twist if they actually did that now then, let's begin with a brief explanation of the class trial. The outcome of the class trial is decided by your votes. If you point out the black end, only they will get punished. But in case you point out the wrong one, everyone will get punished. And the one who deceived everyone else will graduate from this academy. Also, this translation is brought to you by Zephy. Yes, please give Zephy a lot of loves. So please give a heartfelt like to the channel on YouTube and have fun. Yes, please do subscribe to Zephy. Give him a like. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. I'm very appreciative of them uh, translating this. I think I have their channel link in the description too. So quick plug for them. So we have to find the culprit who killed Kanata-chan and Yamaguchi-kun, right? That's right! Ooh, now then, you may start your discussion! You know, this is a little bit awkward, but can Kenjo lead again? <laughs> I know he was, like, dead for half of the investigation, but, like, I have no brain. You see this little pointy thing? That is where my brain's located, so it's, like, kind of the science of a pea, you know what I mean? I could keep you on top of my reasoning, but unfortunately, I won't be very helpful this time either. I investigated in a hurry, but I don't know the details of the case, and there are several parts that I could not investigate. Because you got beaten and knocked out by the killer ride. God, I wish that was me. If only I could have beat the shit out of you. Then we have no choice but to do it ourselves as much as possible. <laughs> We're screwed, dude. It's gonna be a miracle if Makaru helps us. Oh, man. Resting bit face. I feel like whoever wrote this chapter did it in retaliation against parents who wanted them to become a good doctor or lawyer. <laughs> oh, man. Lanouge uh, trauma dumping on us a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Lamel. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> then we have no choice but to do it ourselves. God, it's gonna be a miracle if Makari helps us. Now it'll be now it'll be fine. If you keep talking, we'll reach an answer, right? We don't even need Kenjo, guys. When you start discussing, Kenjo might find out some Kenjo might find out something too. I hope so, God. What was a water fa faucet again? And how many sides and how many sides does an octagon have? I, I forgot, guys. Let's do it as far as we can. This case has been far more different than that of the others, unlike Maki or Tamori. I feel like Uehara is smart, but I don't feel like he talks that much during trials normally. Who died suddenly while we couldn't see them? The murder took place right in front of us. Yeah, that too. We know because two people were killed on different floors. I think the people on each floor will have different information. That was when Kinju fainted at that time. Then it's best to listen to everyone as much as possible. We'll begin a summary of the case. Satsuki will help too. No, it's okay, Satsuki. You don't, you don't have to do anything. I don't know if you're going to be that helpful. No offense, but a little bit of offense. The people who surveyed the second floor and the people who checked the third floor saw and heard differently. So we have to gather information, as Kobashikawa said. Kenjo doesn't know anything, so let's explain the incident and sort out the order in which the incident occurred. Please, God, please sort it out. <laughs> the one singular Mitch Stan. I was wondering where you were. <laughs> Always looking for my my one Mitch Stan in chat. <laughs> Imagine dying, Lamel. That's why Mitch never dies. <laughs> he lives forever. First, before the BDA ring this morning, Maida, Tyra, Iranami, Otori, and I were waiting for everyone to gather at the restaurant. 
After one hour, Makaka Chan arrived. Oh yeah, that was that was another thing that was suspicious too, that she arrived late. I like, even if she's not the killer, I definitely think that like she uh knows something, you know? <laughs> she like knows something. Something more about this case than she has told us yet, but we'll see. But the rest were not coming at all, so we felt something was wrong and decided to find Kanata Chan and Yamaguchi kun. Then on the second floor, we found Uehara fainted, and fortunately, he was able to come to his senses. But right after that, on the third floor, there was a strange sound that went wild. So we decided to act in two groups, the second floor investigation group and the third one. Kurokawa, Uehara, and me on the third floor. As for the second one, it was Taira, Kobishikawa, Oturi, Irinami who took over it. Irinami is like, what is Irinami? Like Irinami, Irinami, Irinami. <laughs> like, I, I get so confused because I'm so used to calling them with like one name in mind, you know? I think I have like a, a thing on here. Who is Irinami again? Is that, um, oh, is that Satsuki? I was like, I can't remember her other last name. I'm pretty sure I took a screenshot of like a little guide one of you guys sent me. It's in here somewhere. Somewhere, someday I'll find it. Ah, oh, whatever, I'm pretty sure it's Satsuki. Okay. All right, so you're saying the viewpoint diverges from there, is that right? Uh, in my case, ah, oh, dude. I'm thinking of that theory now. They're being like an accomplice, you know what I mean? What if like, okay, so the killer was in one group while the accomplice is in the other group, but why would you be like an accomplice to murder? But that would work out so perfectly. That really would with like this kind of case, you know what I mean? I wonder, ah, okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if that happens. In my case, I heard a rough story from the others in charge of the second floor investigation, but there are probably many others who don't know about it yet. Shalmeida, Kurokawa, and me talk about the third floor first. We went up to the third floor, then each of us decided to check a room. Maida went to the art room, the epicenter of strange sounds. I checked the science lab, and Kurokawa decided to check the rest of the rooms. The empty classroom and casino. Okay. There was nothing wrong, but was there? I was <laughs> so like... <laughs> I'm so like sus. Like Uehara said, I headed to the art room where I was able to confirm the identity of the strange noise. <laughs> Selfie. Shout out to the one singular Mitch Stan. We love you. <laughs> we all love and support you. One singular Mitch Stan. I love how self aware you are too, knowing that you're the only one. <laughs> Oh man, the sound that was coming from inside the locker. Uh, Inori's dead body. A bag full of blood. Makaru's hands and feet tied up. Yeah, the bottom one. I would love to see a reaction if I chose something else. Was it Inori's dead body? Oh my god, Mina. <laughs> How have you made it this far in life without dying? Inside the arm room locker was Makaru. With her mouth taped and her limbs were bloody. And she was kicking the locker door to try to open it. That was the roaring. That was what the roaring sound was. Mikari was trapped? And bloody too? Wait, she wasn't in a position to talk to the others either. This incompetent child. I won't let this go so easily. Do you not want me to- <laughs> Dude, we gotta solve this case! What do you want me to do? <laughs> Why me? I was just trying to organize the case. Maido went to the art room and came along with Makaru, and I wondered how he found her. She must have been trapped. Well, at last, the situation was so urgent that there were some things that could not be explained properly. But why was Makaru found like that? I'm not gonna tell you. Why, you ask? I was taken off guard by the killer. You also say that you were off- So you also say you were off guard. Don't worry, unlike the cop over there, I didn't give a- I didn't give a damn. Who? What do you mean? <laughs> Don't mind and continue- What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I just didn't care because I'm such a freaking girl boss. Don't mind and continue the discussion. I'll tell you after I watch you guys shovel some more. I love watching you guys struggle. <laughs> you really are a piece of- Isn't there even co cooperativeness in here anymore? Ignore Makaru and keep talking. Even if you don't know, I have- I have a reason based on- I have to reason based on what I heard just now. Uh, yeah, then I'll continue. After taking Makaru out, we came through the corridor, but then Kurokawa and Uehara called out, mentioning that the science lab door was not opening. 
As I said earlier, I want to investigate the science lab, but the door was tightly closed and couldn't be opened. In my attempt, I tried to force it open, but it was no use. The effort didn't seem good at all, so Kurokawa joined. Joined who came from investigating the other places. I'm trying to decide if it's sus that he found the science room <laughs> first or not. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. Yes, there is even a scream coming out of the science lab. The four of us who were on the third floor all focused on opening the door and... Finally, we succeeded in opening the door to it. Was Kanata-chan dead? Yeah. Shortly after, the body discovery announcement came out. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It did seem like, yeah, she died basically like right before us, you know? Almost like right before our very eyes, like on the other side of the door. Everyone knows by now, because yeah, she was screaming and stuff too. Ah, that's so freaking messed up. Everyone knows by now from seeing Inori's body, but it was so horrible that she was shocked to death and she couldn't even move from there. But the crime didn't end there. Yes, it came out again. Another BDA. That's Yamaguchi's BDA that we found in the library, right? In order to see what transpired, we went down to the second floor and joined you guys. And we also checked Yamaguchi's body. That's all from our rep report on the third floor investigation team. As for us, you check the second floor, we're no different. Each of the four were put to investigate a classroom, and I, who went to the library, found Yamaguchi and Kenjo-kun, and then the rest of the guys discovered the corpse one after another, and then the BDA rang. Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. Makaru was stuffed in a locker. Yasuhiro was stuffed in a locker. Hmm, I wonder how we found our Yasuhiro. <laughs> I will be suing you for that statement. <laughs> Watch your back, Jeffrey. <laughs> You're gonna see Makaru behind you with like a knife. <laughs> Say that again. Say that one more time. <laughs> oh, man. So roughly, that's how the case played out. Sorry, I keep tapping the microphone. I don't mean to. Yeah, at first glance, it's like a murder case. Just like two people died overnight and we found them, one after another, but... The biggest problem with this case is that the killing was this morning, the same day. They went to the same areas as us, even the same hour. And in the same hour, even there was a murder committed. Is that, you mean the estimated time of death in the Monokuma file? That's right, according to the Monokuma file, Yamaguchi Antonori died at the time we were investigating the second and third floors. Okay, I could see it being like... So right now we think it was Nori who died first, according to the Monokuma file, but I could see it just being like five or ten minutes off. I realize this, but as much as we've been acting in pairs and working with each other, we can prove everyone's alibi. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if alibis are going to help us. That's not the only weird thing, right? When the science lab door was closed, we heard Nori scream, and clearly with the door in between. Yeah. It's like, man, would he have really been killed afterwards? Like, that just does not make sense. He had to be killed before. I just, like, that is... Ah! It's just too much, dude. But when we opened the door, there was no one inside. No! Now, wait a minute. That's the same for us. The place where uyuhara -kun was found, it was near the stairs of the second floor. To get out of the library after killing yamaguchi kun you must pass through there so you couldn't have missed them. When you went to search the library, did you go right away after breaking with the others who went to the third floor? Yeah, when I went to the library, Yamaguchi-kun was already dead. If the culprit killed them in the library, I couldn't have missed that. Yeah, I was like, I feel like it's gotta be like... If it's one of us on the top floor, there's gotta be like... An accomplice on the bottom floor? Or... Um, I'm trying to think... Or, yeah, it's somebody on the bottom floor and they just set up Kanata's murder to go off. Because that was definitely the easiest to kind of, like, make, you know, happen without them doing anything since they had the phone and all that stuff. Even if we say they secretly came out, Kanata-chan was killed, too. To go up to the third floor, they would have had to have passed... They would have had to pass Nata kun right? All these things don't make any sense. I didn't ask for that. Don't jump back out. God, I freaking hate you, Akane. Don't even look at me. Don't make eye contact with me. <laughs> Welcome, NPA Highlights. Thanks for coming to the stream again. I didn't ask that far, so don't jump ahead. Huh? Oh, uh, uh sorry. Yeah, uh, don't say sorry. Punch him. Slap him like you did before. What are you sorry for? You don't have to apologize to that guy. That's just how Kinjo is. He doesn't like Tyra anyway, so don't worry. Everyone else is not thinking badly of you, okay? Uh, no, it's all right, Kobishikawa-kun. Ah, oh, she's too nice. No matter what others say, it is true that I stabbed Kazuna-chan 
And it is true. I mean, it was like literally an accident, dude. And it is true that Yami chan died because of me. I don't deserve to say anything else. That's right. If you know that, then let's continue. <laughs> He's so full of himself. I also don't want to waste my time talking about bitter stuff, even in class trials. So then the biggest issue right now is how did they go back and forth without any of us noticing in that short time? Yeah, Nori and Yamaguchi's time interval was only five minutes. It is definitely impossible to kill in two places that's separated, that are separated by different floor levels. It looks like that, but... Is that really how it happened? Let's think, based on what we have to have investigated. I may have found the secret of this challenge. From now on, non-stop debate will begin. Would you like to hear an explanation? Oh, sure. <laughs> that was so helpful. <laughs> well, it's like I know so much more about it than I did before. <laughs> <laughs> I have notes anyways to remind me of what, the, what I'm supposed to do, but still it just cracked me up. <laughs> okay, shift to switch, enter to shoot, I think. Okay, stun gun, science lab, wooden board. Okay, it's probably gonna be the stun gun, right? <laughs> God, that was so helpful, thank you. <laughs> thank you, game. <laughs> I think uh, space might work too, actually. In that short time of winning all of our eyes, it's impossible to kill two people. Not necessarily. Probably. Oh, wait, no, stun gun. That's what I wanted. Yamaguchi was killed after. Do you know what it was? What it was that killed Inori? Execution by stun gun, right? Yeah, that's true. I, I agree with that. Maybe it was the stun gun that does make an electric shock against the body. I mean, yeah. So I was like. It's not close to the body, so it wasn't wasn't affected by it. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Screw you, Haru. Right? No, not screw you, Haru. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. I thought that was it. Unless I switched the wrong tree pool on accident. God freaking damn it! Dang it! No, I didn't. No, I did the right thing, or I did what I meant to do. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay. Never mind, guys. <laughs> I'll let them. Uh, I'll let them explain. I guess. Oh wait, let me get my mouse out of the way. Learning Korean from Mystic Messenger. <laughs> I see you are a man of taste as well. Okay. Electrocution by a stun gun, right? I, you know, I agree with that. Okay. Attack against the body. Unless it's the phone thing. Science lab, but... Oh yeah, of course, that's probably what it is, right? Okay, <laughs> I was like, there we go. There we go, okay. What do you rate this game so far, the characters and the game in general? Honestly, it's so good. Like, I mean, especially considering that it's just like they made it with RPG Maker. Like, I mean, I'm super impressed with this game. No, the weapon that killed Inori was definitely a stun gun. It may not have been a direct hit from the stun gun. It wasn't a direct hit, but the weapon was the stun gun. Are you saying some kind of ghost hit them? It was the water faucet ghost. Have you all been to the science lab at least once? Wasn't that sea of water enough to overflow the corridor? At first I was wondering why they needed to do this. The fact that the science lab was turned into a sea of water, Anori was electrocuted. That was the cause to make this happen. Ah, if you let Kanata-chan submerge in water and drop the stun gun, then you can cause an electric shock without touching the stun gun directly. Where did they find the stun gun again? <laughs> do we ever establish that? But wait a moment. The stun gun itself is just a suppression tool. It doesn't come out with enough voltage to kill people in no time. Of course, that also depends on the device. However, if you allow water to pass electricity, it would be left it would be left enough for a person to pass through their body. Yeah, if that were the case, wouldn't the killer be able to electrocute indirectly with water, even if they didn't use the stun gun with their hands? Uh, ah, hey, look at you! I love that! <laughs> You're looking cool, dude. Man, you trying to make me look dumb, Yuki? No way, Maida. Your reasoning has a bunch of flaws. I don't want to hear that from you, Haru. Okay, this is the one I always screw up on. Enter to slash, refute with shift. Okay. Yeah, that was left and right. Okay. I think that was basically all I had to, uh... Okay. No way, Maida. Your reasoning has a bunch of flaws. What's wrong? All of a sudden, Kobishikawa. Listen, I tried to reason my head around this crime for a while. I've been thinking really hard about this. I've been using all two of my brain cells. I always get beaten by Maida, but 
Today I won't lose to you. You're arguing for such a useless reason? <laughs> useless? You said it was useless. Fine then, Maida. Unfortunately for you, I found out what's wrong with your reasoning. Now then. <laughs> I'd love it if we don't even do this mini game. He's like, I, I forgot. What were we talking about? Where am I? <laughs> this is my chance to point out your mistake. Would you like to hear an explanation? I don't know. I kind of want to hear an explanation. <laughs> it's just, it never stops being funny to me. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I see. Thank you. Thank you very much, game. <laughs> okay, that'll be my last time I do it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Broken mobile phone, Nori's body, bloody white coat. Probably the broken mobile phone, if I had to take a take a guess as to what is going to be the thing. Let's assume that the stun gun was submerged. Certainly, you can electrocute with blah, 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 blah. I probably should have read that. But in order to get into the water, someone should be in the science lab. Yeah. All it doesn't change back and forth between the third floors. Progress. Okay, cool. No, not necessarily. How? If you only drown the stun gun, you can operate it remotely. Do they call? How did they? Oh, no, they had the timer. That's impossible. Only with superpowers. Told you it was a vampire. Gun moved on its own. It fell into it. There's a tool that literally moves on its own. There we go, right? Yeah! There we go. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. I think it was Uehara who had the phone originally. He said somebody stole it. Ah, oh, man, that makes him so suspicious! Damn it! No, don't say it's true, Kenji. That does make you kind of sus, though. He's like, oh yeah, somebody just punched me in the face and stole my phone. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy how that happened. Uh, we'll see. Kobishikawa, maybe. There may be one. A tool that moves by itself. Oh, what? In fact, the science lab stun gun wasn't just dropped there. Next to it, a mobile phone was connected with a strap. The cell phone? You mean the one that Uehara discovered? Yeah, that's right. Maki's mobile phone. It's totally messed it up, too. It was the one that disappeared, and you said it was there? Also, you said it was a self-moving tool. Why does that cell phone matter? I guess it would make sense as to why they would knock Kinji out if they wanted to steal the cell phone. I guess we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I'm worried. I'm so worried he did it, dude. I'm so worried. I don't know, man. It's just that, like, him coming up with like a bloody head and stuff. I remember like C Celeste doing that, being like, oh my lord, I can't believe, <laughs> she has a southern accent for some reason. I can't believe somebody hit me in the head, that darn killer. <laughs> I think it was the Abridged series that gave her a southern accent. I just always thought that was so funny. Actually it matters because it had a vibration function that was used. Kenji was right, that phone had alarm settings just before we heard Nori's scream. Okay. Ah, oh, that's right, I understand this now. That's all making sense. So you connected the strap to the phone. Um, why is the alarm function related to moving? Am I the only one who doesn't understand? Huh? Oh, Uihara. Oh yeah, he doesn't understand how a phone works. <laughs> you see, he couldn't have done it because he doesn't understand how phones work. He's a boomer, guys, so of course. <laughs> of course he can't, he doesn't, he couldn't have done it. A vibration alarm function, you don't understand what that is? Um. <laughs> oh, right. Uihara lived in the mountains, so you don't know the achievements of society, right? Let the civilized people tell you then. I do not live in the mountains. <laughs> Uihara, what I wanted to explain was that they drowned the stun gun using the phone's alarm function. The phone and the stun gun were connected by a strap. Probably the killer set the alarm at the time when the stun gun was about to be drowned and placed the phone in a corner as if it were about to fall on the edge of the desk. When it happens, the alarm goes off at the present time and the vibration function occurs. The cell phone moves little by little due to the vibration and eventually falls from the desk to the floor. I see, I understand now. So the stun gun that was connected to the cell phone fell along with it. What do you think, Kobishikawa? With this, is it possi possible to electrocute Inori remotely without anyone in the science lab, right? Uh, yeah, I lost, I lost, no! <laughs> I didn't want to lose this time, but I lost to Maida again. If people like Kinjo don't know, Maida will be able to win. 
Is it a problem to win and lose now? Take it seriously. This is a class trial. I kind of agree with Kenjo for once. I know that, but who would know about this? I only argued once because I thought my reasoning was better than Midas. I'll just shut up now and hide from now on. It's fine. Don't fight. Now we have to focus on revealing the culprit's crimes first. Why am I mediating now? <laughs> Oh, man, it's because we don't have Kenjo for once. Well, we do, but you know, he doesn't know what's going on. So Kanata-chan was electrocuted remotely using a cell phone and the flood, right? Say, you found out that phone has an alarm function. Even if it is that type of phone these days, it looks like an old 2G phone. My question would be, is it waterproof? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> waterproof? They totally screwed it up. The fact that the stun gun fell into the water means that the cell phone that was connected to it also dropped. Old cell phones would probably break because of the water. No, rather the cell phone was floating on the floor of the science lab. Okay. And it was in a broken state. The time was displayed. The time was displayed. The time that was displayed was strange. And the colors of the screen had strange marks and lines. I just found out that an alarm was set among other features that were still functional. Okay, so it was like somewhat functional. That's right. So you can't use any other functions again? That's a little disappointing. Even if it's out of signal, it was still a mobile phone that could bear a clue in the future. Yeah, for real. Hey, aren't you guys leaning, leaning down the road too much? If the problem is sorted out, then let's move on to the next step. If Inori's problem was already cleared up, we've still yet to hear a lot more from this case. All right. So as long as the killer can do a remote killing using their cell phone and the floor of water, they don't have to run directly on the second and third floors. Okay. I see. If you set it up in advance, the rest just needs Anori to tie it up so that she cannot move from that spot. How did they leave the room too, though? That's what I'm kind of wondering. They may have used a lot of tape for that purpose. It seems so. If that's true, then what happened to Yamaguchi? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Huh? Is there anything amiss? The culprit did the kill themselves. Wait a second, even if Kaganana-chan is clear, is it the same with Yamaguchi-kun? When I discovered him in the library, there was only Kenjo who fell down. It was Kenjo who did it! <laughs> in your dreams, Tyra. If Tyra's words are true, it would certainly be impossible to get out of the library without being noticed. The time of death was 8.40 in the first place, and it's impossible for any of us to kill at that time. Does everybody have alibis, though? Meita-kun, Uihara, and Makako-chan went to the third floor, so it's impossible. Satsuki, Kobushikawa-kun, Ojiri-kun, and I confirmed each other on the second floor, so it's all too far-fetched. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I might need, like, a snack or something, too. I feel like, I don't know, like, I'm hungry all of a sudden. I have a protein bar, so I guess I'll just eat that. I hope they don't get, like, chocolate in my teeth. I'm trying to think, though. I'm like... I think maybe the killer is trying to pin it on Kinjo somehow. I feel like there's something set up for Yamaguchi's. I just feel like his time is wrong. Cause like we found the murder weapon in the art room and that would still imply going up and down, you know? So I don't know, it just seems kind of weird. Anyway, I'm gonna hold up. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I hate eating on stream, I'm so sorry. I was like, sometimes I get kind of like blood sugar issues. I feel like a little shaky. I feel like I'm getting that like a little bit right now. But anyways, maybe, um, maybe, yeah. Maybe they are trying to set up Kenjo. That is my idea so far. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to find a... I don't want to... Talk while I'm eating. Okay. Um. You sure I don't talk with you? Eh, a little bit. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Kenjo and Makar were in a state of being beaten by the killer, right? Then who was the killer? A ghost? Nah, man. It's a vampire. We already talked about this. No way. Wouldn't it be possible for him? You, Kenjo. Um. <laughs> Kenjo, well, but Kenjo was hit by the killer in the head, right? That don't mean shit, man. No, I feel bad for Kenjo, but I also fucking hate his guts. Think of it as terms for elimination. Kenjo and Makaru are the only ones who have no alibi. At the time of the crime. Well, Makaru, I don't think she really could have done it. 
Then Makario is a suspect too. They were in the art room though. It's far from, it's too far from there. But Kenji was found right in the library where Yamaguchi was dead. So you're saying that he, that he being knocked out was a self-made play. I wonder. Kenjo is like, he like hates murderers and stuff, but like, I wonder if um, he would assist somebody. Well, no, I don't see any reason why he'd want to take out. Um, Cause I was like, he might assist a murderer to take out like a Kane so he doesn't have to get like his hands dirty. But I don't know if he would do it for this one. Cause Inori and Yamaguchi were both like precious and sweet, you know? But even I saw that the wound was quite severe to be a self play and I tried to heal it. Wasn't that prepared? If you're guilty in the first place, you'll get executed and die. But it's about hurting yourself. Isn't it possible for the criminal to get out simply by faking being a victim? Like last trial. Okay, so you all consider me to be the culprit. Yeah, vote, guys. Let's see how far that gets you. That's... Do you really think I did the murder? If you say that, it only sounds like an excuse. If you're not the culprit, why don't you refute it logically? Isn't that your specialty, big man? <laughs> How are you? You just hate Kenjo because he's Yuki's boyfriend and you want to be Yuki's boyfriend. I, I see. I see how it is. I can read right through you because I really was fainted. I was leaking information. I'm not able to refute something. I'm lacking. I was lacking information. I was like leaking. Lagging information. I'm not able to refute something that you think that you think it's reasonable. What? This is maybe... Kenju, are you declaring your defeat? I mean, he didn't really get to, you know, like, look for any, uh, any information. I'll ask this for confirmation. Yamaguchi's time of death is A40. It was written in the Monokuma file, so it's accurate. And so, as soon as you went up to the second floor and scratched for... and scattered... scattered... scratched... scattered for investigation, Yamaguchi was already dead in the library. Yes, I guarantee this. Huh. You know that if you can't refute it, you'll confess that you're the culprit, right? Man, Haru is trying so hard this trial. Kenjo, is he really the culprit? Nah, not my, my best worst boy. My worst best boy. A person of justice or a character who doesn't forgive criminals. I have to leave this emotion and look at things objectively. I gotta forget about my love for him. Is it true that only Kenjo and Makaru are without alibis and could have committed the crime? But I should think about this more. It's possible that we concluded this way too early. Yeah. This is the part I'm the most confused about, so... I'm about to lose some clout. <laughs> I have a feeling, at least. Plaster weapon, library bloodbath, Tyra's testimony. What was Tyra's testimony again? Let me look that up. Do, 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 do. Um, according to Tyra, she stopped by the science room just before nighttime last night. Eh, it doesn't really have anything to do with it. So it's either the plaster weapon or the library bloodbath. Probably. Okay, let's see. Oh, man. Wait. The only one that could do this is Kinjo. Library bloodbath. You're free to believe me or not, but I was knocked out by the killer. Um... <laughs> Don't think that is. That might be your own trick. <laughs> he hates Kenjo so much. He killed Yamaguchi in the library on the spot. Um, maybe not. Wait, what's the library bloodbath? It might be that one. The amount of blood was poured from Yamaguchi in the library of the corridor. Appears to be shed so much blood that in time of death discovery, in addition, there was a pit of blood on the body. It means the blood didn't flow after Yamaguchi fell in the library. I don't know if that really... I don't know. I'll keep going. I'll keep going. You just have to pretend to be stunned by hitting your head. You just bonked yourself. Actually, the only one in the library who can do it at that time is Kinjo. So you agree, Kenji. That... But the wound was real! The wound was self-inflicted. It's a problem solved. If it was self-inflicted. Kinjo is really the killer?! <laughs> dot, 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 dot. I think it's the library bloodbath one. I think that makes the most sense. I can't tell though. Yamaguchi was lying in the library. The person who can kill Yamaguchi in the library is the one who is in the same li- I wish it didn't make me lose clout from going through it one time. Yamaguchi was lying in the library. The person who can kill Yamaguchi in the library is the one 
who was in the same library, and it looks like that was only Kinjo in there. Ah! Crap. <laughs> I dropped my phone. Sorry. Oh, man. I was like, I just wanted to read through this whole thing, because this is, like, honestly the part I'm the most confused about. The person in the body of Yamaguchi in the corridor appears to shed, but he shed so much blood in that short time. Okay. From depth of discovery. In addition to that, there is a pit of blood under the body. This means the blood didn't flow after Yamaguchi fell in the library. I think it's that one that, um, what's-his-face said. But it's certain that Yamaguchi was found in the library and died in the library. Let's recall what we investigated. This mystery can be solved, too. Maybe, one day. <laughs> okay. The only one that could do this is Kinjo. That's why you should break up with him, but I was knocked out by the killer. Okay. Uh, you do it like this, right? Maybe your own words. Killed Yamaguchi in the spot in the library, right? Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, my phone's okay. It's gone through worse. It's a lot better off than Maki's phone, that's for sure. Do, 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 do. Who's losing their cloud? This trial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kobe Shikawa, wait a minute. Is that really true? You're asking if it's true? What do you mean? Kobe Shikawa just said it. He killed Yamaguchi, who was in the library, on the spot. But that conclusion may have been wrong. What do you mean? It was the same logic th as in Maki's case. There is no guarantee that the murder took place where the body was found. Oh. Okay, so that's what it is. <laughs> huh? Then you mean he wasn't killed in the library? I think that's more likely because of the blood stains where they were dragged from outside. If Yamaguchi was really dead in the light, was he killed in the hallway then? Because there's not really any more, um, not really, you know, any other like trails of blood, you know what I mean? Oh, thank you, carrot tree cake, plot twist. It's Mitch's cell phone and not Maki's. So he is indirectly the killer. <laughs> he just liked, uh, he had a crush on Maki, so that's why the background was of her. <laughs> God freaking dang it, I knew it was Mitch all along, yet again. It's always him. Fuck you, Mitch. <laughs> I know you're dead, but still, fuck off. <laughs> At the beginning of the day, it would be an impossible crime. Then, where is it? Where did Yamaguchi die? I'm not really sure. Maybe it was in the art room? Huh. The art room. Oh, so they killed him and then they moved the body? That would mean his estimated time of death was way off. No, that's why I said estimated, Weeby! The art room, that's so far away. And who would be able to carry Yamaguchi that far? The main stage of this case is likely to be the science lab and the library. In fact, it might not be an exaggeration to say that the art room is more important than these two. Hmm. The reason why the art room is an important place and why Yamaguchi might have died in the art room other than the library. I saw that tool and thought it, and though it is very little, that tool had blood on it. Oh my god, it was Monokuma my, File 3 1! Oh my god, of course, it has to be that. My, using my own Monokuma file to commit murder, even before I gave it. What a genius weapon! There were some plaster weapons in the art room. It's made of stone, but if you cut it, if you cut its edge fairly sharp enough and swing it as a weapon, it becomes a, such a spear that you can really cut easily on human flesh. <laughs> no way! Was, was um, her coat covered in Yamaguchi's blood then? I guess we'll see. That spear made of stone was the thing that killed Yamaguchi-kun? It probably is because one of the plaster weapons had a blood spot on it. Wait a second, Yamaguchi died in the art room, but was he there? Isn't it a bit hard to say he died there? Oh, maybe it's the blood in the locker is Yamaguchi's blood then. Did they just cut him again to have like fresh blood on the floor in the library? Maybe. Isn't it a bit hard to say he died there? He could have been killed in the library and put back in that place for a while, right? Okay, then probably the blood bags were used. Okay, in the library then to make it look like he died right then. I'm guessing so. That's not possible. There was a plastic wrap with blood in the trash can from the art room. Oh, you found that too. Plastic wrap. Kenjo found it too. You didn't have much time to investigate it. That's right. So I couldn't realize that the plaster weapon had blood on it. I just listened to Midas' theory and found it. And found it and found out its connection. Okay, so that's probably what they like wiped it with or something. 
than how was the plastic wrap he used. As Midas said, if there is blood on the plaster weapon, there's a high chance that the murder weapon is this. The Monokuma file also said something sharp. If so, the killer would have killed Yamaguchi with a wrap, with a wrap around the blade of the shedding. Okay, killed Yamaguchi with wrap around the blade of the shedding. Hey, you said the wrap was covered in blood, right? I mean, is that a tool to prevent blood from getting on the weapon? Oh, okay, so that's what it is. I realize that, but isn't there something odd? They used a wrap to keep the blood from getting into, but Midas said the plaster weapon had blood on it. Isn't that contradictory? Did I not mention this? It wasn't just spread, it was faintly spread. That was not an ordinary blood mark. It was an oval, round blood mark. The size of a nail. <laughs> the size of a holy nail? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> God freaking dang it, Kenji, how could you do this? <laughs> Who? Who? How can blood be like that? It was like a really weird, specifically like, <laughs> like so circular and perfect, you know? It was pretty weird. I see. I understand after listening to Maida. I kind of thought maybe like it was just kind of like an art choice for it to look like that, but it seems like they're actually calling attention to it. It was a simple ac accident to get blood on the plaster weapon. An accident? I don't know how many people have gone through the trash cans in the art room, but if you've seen the plastic wrap, you know. In the wrap, there was blood all over, except in this one round hole. Oh yeah, there was the round hole, and the, that's where it came from. Oh, I see, if it were the original intention of the criminal, a spot of blood should not have been rubbed on the weapon, but somehow part of the wrap was torn, and that's why the blood stain remained. Okay, I get it. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, then, as these two said, the culprit killed Yamaguchi in the art room with the weapon that was in the art room. And then the evidence was just put in the trash bin. That's great, these are excellent detectives. I'm so glad I have people to think for me. Wait, wait a minute, wait, wait. <laughs> He's trying so hard this trial. I know that the rat prevents blood from splattering, I get it, but that could have been done in the art room. By bringing the rat to the library, then do the killing and then dispose of the evidence in the art room. That's too much going up and down. Oh, thank you, Soul Samurai, for becoming a sodanist. Yes, join the sodanist club. Oh, wait, I think I have him around here. <laughs> yes, thank you for joining. <laughs> I'll put him uh, over here. But bringing the rap to the, but thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, bringing the, now no, yeah, it's too much going up and down. Of course you can see it that way if you're freaking stupid, but it wasn't just a rap that was in the art room's trash. Maida, if you found out the rap, you must have seen that thing too. How about you tell the others about that? That thing. That thing, you mean something that was thrown in the trash with the plastic wrap? That must be... The Monokuma file! <laughs> Kenjo's body, I mean, uh, Yamaguchi's body, not Kenjo's body, oh man. <laughs> That'd be bad. Okay, it was uh, this one, right? The bloody white coat. <laughs> Kenjo, you mean Inori's white coat? Indeed, Inori's white coat with a lot of blood. As a result, Inori's body was not wearing a white coat. Why was the coat in such a place? I like, no, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way, there's no, there's no way. But it does make me a little suspicious. I was like, it could not be that Inori like killed Yamaguchi. But like, it would explain, no, I don't know if it would even explain the blood in the coat anyways, because they used the plastic wrap to like not get blood on like the weapon and stuff, so I assume they would do something similar. Uh, I got, I'm thinking too much. I'll just read, I'll just keep reading. As a result, Inori's body was not wearing a white coat. Why was the coat in such a place? Wait a minute, Kanata-chan is, she died in a terrible manner, but she didn't bleed at all. But there's blood on it? I don't know why Inori's white coat was in the art room. But one thing is certain, the killer used the white coat to wipe the blood off. Wipe it off, but isn't it still there? You can tell just by looking at the shape of the blood. In all likelihood, it's a blood stain that seems to have been rubbed with blood. Okay, at some point you can see that it was used to destroy the evidence. Okay. Well, but it was Yamaguchi who shed blood, alright? Where do you say they wiped the blood off? It's in the art room itself. The art room had traces of blood on the floor. There were traces of blood left. Ah, uh, Makako's finally talking. <laughs> it's like the first time she's talked this whole uh, trial. <laughs> As Kurokawa mentions, there are traces of blood wiped off on the floor of the art room. I've even checked with the smell, so I'm sure. I've smelled a lot of blood. 
I see, I didn't know about it. But there was blood on the floor. If that's the case, it proves that they wiped the blood with the coat. Okay, so. I guess that would mean they already tied up um, Nori then, probably. And then they used her to, uh, used her coat to, like, wipe up the blood. Blood sp splattered on the floor of the art room. Someone mentioned this before. Only Yamaguchi shed blood. Then by process of elimination, that means the blood splattered in the art room is... When Yamaguchi-kun died in the art room... Indeed, that would be a good enough reason. Uh, that would be a good enough reason. That would be good enough for the reason we didn't find these on the second floor. This is Kindra after all. Even if we investigate for a few minutes, they will remain to solve all these cases. Even though he didn't look at the evidence, he's still so much smarter than us. <laughs> he is a psychopath, though. I can only put my reasoning up to this point. Even if Yamaguchi died in the art room, the mystery still remains unsolved. What? Which mystery? <laughs> no matter where the body died, what you saw with your own eyes was Kakura Yamaguchi's body, who died in the library. Then the corpse must have been moved by the killer, which in turn means they somehow moved from the art room to the library. I was like, how did they do that? It is kind of making me wonder if there is an accomplice, because he's so big, you know? I feel like nobody else here is, like, strong enough, really, to move his body by themselves. Oh, that's a surprise! Makaru helping us! How frustrating this is. Anyways, think carefully. The time of death of Kakuru Yamaguchi and the time until you found the body. Before starting the non-stop debate, we recommend that you hear about the spell button scan. Would you like to read the explanation? Okay, learn to scan for crewmates <laughs> among us. In the case of an ordinary non-stop debate, multiple truth bullets are given. And it is common to fire a truth bullet suitable for the opponent's statement. In this case, however, you can scan a bullet from another friend's yellow statement to make it your own. Okay, to scan X or escape, really. Okay, I'm gonna write this down. Scan. So I can remember for next time. Because I never remember this stuff. While pointing the yellow text. While pointing the yellow text. However, if there is no specific skill for this, a considerable delay given to the scan. For this considerable delay given to the scan. And if a friend's words miss during the scan, the scan will fail. Also, scanning a truth bullet doesn't mean it's the end. Because you've got a truth bullet that will be the correct answer. But you need to refute it by using the scan truth bullet as usual for the contradictory remark. You can't scan any statements either. You can only scan one truth bullet. Don't hesitate to scan if you hear any suspicious yellow comments. Finally, scan bullets don't disappear unless you shoot them for correct or incorrect answers. If you scan the wrong statement, the scan will disappear and will go back to the beginning. Also, truth bullets, other than those that have been scanned, won't disappear until they are shot. In other words, in some cases, after scanning, you may skip all comments and go back to the beginning, but in the scan state. This is a lot. <laughs> Zero out of ten explanation, the Korean was better. <laughs> Where are the Korean? Where's the Korean translate? Where's the Korean uh, instructions? Your speaking power will not be reduced unless it is a mistake, so you can refute the correct answer with confidence. That was a lot of explaining. We'll see. <laughs> I, I scan stuff and then I, I shoot it, right? Monokuma file three, one! Okay, yeah, they're like, don't even bother looking at this crap. I suddenly understand Korean now. What's the mystery? The place where Yamaguchi died is the art room. He was in the art room around 8.40, the time of death. At that time, we were already investigating the second floor. Oh, this is so confusing, dude. I was always in the hallway. There was no signs of anyone on the third floor. Oh, this song is bumping. But how did Yamaguchi teleport to the library? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, a vampire. That is the mystery. Reasoning is impossible, but the contradictions don't stop. Wrong time of death? There's no such chance because all that is written on the Monokuma file is true. Wait, I'm trying to do X, right? If Kendra doesn't know, we're drawing a blank here. I thought I was doing X. This is bonkers. Why do murders always happen all the time? Uh, day or night? Uh, wait, wait. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't let me do it. Think about something that might come up. Ah, dang it! That was it, right? 
Our discussion right now, something important seems to have been misunderstood. It's clear that the place where Yamaguchi died is the art room around 840. Except everything won't fit going. Okay, so that is it. He did die in the art room, but there were bloodstains in other places and the body was moved to the library. It feels like everything was prepared in advance. There's only one thing that eliminates the possibility. It's the Monokuma file. The file has been always correct about its information and this is no exception. And there's no possibility that the Monokuma file was prepared in advance as it informed the time of death. If that's the case, it's not the Monokuma file that is wrong. It's us. We missed something very vital here. What we missed from the information provided in the Monokuma file compared to the previous Monokuma files. Information that was not added only for this file. If I think carefully about this, I will reach the answer. Yes, Yuki, brain dive. Brain dive. Okay. Look at you, Teruya. You're helping me out this time. We love to see it. Okay, okay. Ah! Is that okay? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, now we can go through. Now, where do I shoot it at? I can shoot it after this, right? Everything was prepared in advance. Born a time of death. That's the case, not the Monokuma file is wrong. Okay. Compared to the previous, I think it was like Uehara that said something about like, um, what should we call it? It being like, the Monokuma file's never wrong. I hope I. I hope I choose the right thing. <laughs> I really don't have to absorb this thing again. Well, the place where Yamaguchi died is... No, no, it wasn't. Okay, it's not that one. It's not that one. I drew around 840, the time of death. No. <laughs> Uehara's voice is getting like weirder and weirder every, <laughs> every episode. Oh, he's in the hallway on the third floor. Like, I kind of want to skip, but I'm too scared. And how did Yamaguchi teleport to the library? The Monokuma file can never be wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. This music's bumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do 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 Yeah. Swear, watch out, you. Imagine having a mid shrine. Who has a mid shrine? Why are we talking about this? I'm like, who has a Mitch Shrine? Then like, <laughs> like drop the camera and you see like a Mitch Shrine in the background. I'm like, don't, don't look at that. <laughs> in reality, there's actually two Mitch fans. Day and night, day and night. Guys, wait a second. So yeah, that makes sense. Cause yeah, that was driving me crazy. Honestly, I was like, it does not make sense for him to have died second. Guys, wait a second. Wait, there is something that bothers me. What's wrong, Maida Kuhn? Does anyone have Yamaguchi's Monokuma file? I brought it the last time I checked. Why? Did you think of anything? Kinjo, read what was written in that Monokuma file without any mistake, please. I'm just trying to screw with you guys, huh? And the Mitch Stan does. <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> I should have known. Okay. The estimated time of death of the victim, Kakuri Yamaguchi, is about 8.40 found in the library. Sharply cut back neck to uvula. Yeah, it didn't even, uh, it's very, it's worded very, um, I don't know, like, vaguely, vaguely enough to where it makes it seem like, yeah, it was 840 in the morning in the library, but he was just found in the library. Tricky, Monokuma. The weapon is presumed to be something sharp, no other visible trauma. Um, something is weird, is it not? Something is weird. What is? What is? In this Monokuma file, it says the time of death is 8.40, but it doesn't say at all whether it is a.m. or p.m. Yeah, huh? Uh huh? Oh. It's better than the police. It's better than the police, am I right? <laughs> it was like that? Oh, I don't understand what they are talking about. Teruya and Kobazing 2 explain it to us. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on either. Hey, what, hey, why do you mention me and make me a fool? Hey, you're the only one stupider than me. Did you understand then? Please explain, Mida. <laughs> okay, think for a moment for once in your life. The Monokuma file we've seen so far clearly indicated whether it was in the morning or afternoon. 
The victim is Kiyokamaki. The estimated time of death is 6 a.m. The body was found with her neck hanging in the woman's bathroom in the dorm area. The cause of death is a bruise to her oc occipital region. She has massive bleeding. Contusion of the occiput. The victim is Tamori Kazuna, 9.30 p.m. The body was found in the switching room with the power room, the second floor of the school. There is a long torn wound on her stomach and the bleeding is massive. The cause of death is a cut wound on the esophagus caused by a knife. Ah, it really is. AM or PM are not written in this Monokuma file. It was a blind spot. I'm sure the Monokuma file is the only one that says the truth, but it's not being mistaken. Rather, it was us. I was being tricky though. Come on, you gotta admit it. It's not 8.40 a.m. The real time of the incident took place. The night before, it was 8.40 p.m. This would have all been avoided if you guys used military time. Then Yamaguchi-kun, you're saying he was already dead since last night when we were walking around? Okay, so that makes sense. Then yeah, basically nobody has an alibi who was like searching then. Cause like, all of this was set up beforehand, you know, like, um, uh, Inori's was set up, and then Yamaguchi's was killed the night before when, like, nobody has, <laughs> nobody has an alibi. Wait a minute, aren't we jumping too fast here? Oh yeah, Connie was, like, walking around at night. I wonder if she heard or saw anything weird. Well, I guess she did see, say that the science lab was already locked or something like that. I guess it'll come up soon. Wait a minute, aren't we jumping too fast here? Just because it doesn't say whether it was at morning or at night, it's not enough to conclude that he died the night before. Maybe Matakuma forgot and missed it in the first place. No, it's not a jump nor a leap. Rather, this case cannot be solved unless it's this way. At first, I was fainted, so I thought I was lacking information. But considering the premise of 8.40pm, now the back and front have started to fit. Yeah, still... Or do you want to ask Monokuma then? <laughs> um, I I'm going silent again! Oh no, I got turned off! Until now, the Monokuma files always recorded the time of death in the morning or afternoon. But is there any reason for omitting that point only in this occasion? <laughs> uh, well, that's just... <laughs> no comment! If you ask me that, I will be the one in the trial! I've said it again and again! I've decided not to meddle with this trial! This is a big no! <laughs> then the Monokuma file always gives only the right information. And based on it, helpful for reasoning, it's kind of a service system. But now because of the Monokuma file, it's causing a confusion of misinformation. It becomes a useless debate. I think this is a problem, Monokuma. Uh, a problem that I can't help you now. It's not saying, it is not saying anything wrong. I just can't tell you. Why is he doing this? It's like he's protecting the killer for some reason. I don't get it. I'm pretty sure this is it. Monokuma files always and only tell the truth. But some may have felt uh, felt it through this it felt, fallen through this incident so far, right? Some may have felt it through this incident so far, right? According to the content of each case, the description of the content is adjusted accordingly and properly orchestrated. It was orchestrated? <laughs> In simpler terms, it's like this. For example, let's say that the killer wants to implement a whole body trick for that purpose. In that case, in the Monokuma file, it would be, it was drunk with XXX. So it kind of helps the killer every time. Indeed, it's a delicate system that makes me sick. That's it, the Monokuma file is only a tool that helps in the investigation, not a tool to tell the truth. Because then you guys will pay the price. Okay, it seems like you wouldn't know. Freaking, why did I jump through that so quickly? Okay, I don't know what I just said. That's why the timelines are structured from the Monokuma file. Very strange, isn't it? Uh, what? That's- I can't hear you! I don't know anything! It was bound to happen. In fact, because of this time trick, almost, uh, it almost got us very badly. We were distractedly wrong at those moments. It totally almost screwed us over. No, it certainly looks that way. But are we really sure? Without certain evidence, it could just be an inner, inner inference based on Monokuma's words and circumstances. Why are you so negative? Did someone stab you? <laughs> it's not like that. I just want to be sure. Sure, it's not like we don't understand it. He really is acting kind of weird, this chapter. No, spamming, uncut. No, no, no. Okay. No, yeah. Okay, somebody put him in timeout already. It's like, come on, don't, don't spam. Why? What is- I don't understand the, uh, I don't know, like, the appeal in spamming? I just don't get it. Sure, it's not like we don't understand it. 
Well, if, it, if that's the case, I'll be sure to submit evidence, as Haruhiko said. Shall we try it? You have evidence? Yes, before I used to think about whether this was done in the morning or at night. But I knew the timeline trick, and there was some solid evidence to support that claim. We'll see. The question I felt during the investigation, I could feel it while I was examining Yamaguchi's body. If Yamaguchi was dead for a day, the cause of these questions are understandable. That question is, his cutthroat, his stopped bleeding, collapsed in the library. Probably the stopped bleeding, right? I feel like I remember him talking about that a lot. Mitch would probably spam. Let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is so freaking true, dude. <laughs> Oh wait, is there a second Mitch stand in the chat? Oh my god. <laughs> There's two of them? No way. This is the biggest plot twist yet. The proof is simple. Yamaguchi's wound was not bleeding. Huh? That's not it, is it? It was because the library was a bloodbath. That's obvious. That is the case. But anyone who has examined the body in detail could have felt a sense of something misplaced. The blood is recent in contrast to the library. Yamaguchi himself though did not have a single drop of blood coming out of his neck cut. Yeah, that was definitely really weird. You saw that? I didn't really check the body in detail. I just kind of was like, eh, I'll let somebody else do it for me. Definitely. It felt strange, too. When I heard about Yamaguchi's time of death and thought about it again, if things connected in some way, um, then let's sort this out. The blood was far gone is what it means. It's been some time since he died, so the blood already stopped? Oh, I see. It supports the idea that Yamaguchi-kun was already dead yesterday evening. Wait a minute, please. Sure, that may be true, but what happened to the blood in the library? The blood was not dry, and it was also flowing. Yeah, that's where the blood bags come in. The blood in the library is just a diversion for the criminal to make us think uh, Yamaguchi just died. The blood that filled the library was probably what the killer used. That tool would be in the infirmary. I think it's like, oh yeah, missing blood packs. There it is. Okay, it's all starting to make sense now, you know. And it's all starting to come together, slowly but surely. Do you know there is a refrigerator in the infirmary that keeps blood transfusion packs? It makes sense, too, now that, like, um... They killed um, Inori. I guess maybe, because I was originally thinking that they wanted to kill Makaru and Kinjo, and that's why they were, like, tied up and knocked out, but... It could have been that they wanted to kill Yamaguchi first, but they had to kill Inori afterwards because of, like, all this messing around they did with, like, the blood flow and stuff like that. Because they might have thought, like, everybody else is stupid. They're not going to realize that the transfusion packs were stolen from the uh, infirmary. That could actually be why they uh, tied up Ken or tied up Makaru and then knocked out Kenjo, too. So they, uh, maybe because they thought they wouldn't be able to investigate as much or something. Oh, it was for storage of the transfusion packs. I think I brought one for the injured man to drink when he was thir- <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> brought that for Kenjo. I knew Kenjo was a vampire. No. Inside, there are a lot of transfusion packs for each blood type. I know, I drank them. I just- That's what I was trying to say. I found out during my investigation this morning that the blood transfusion packs inside were gone. I didn't know because I couldn't go to the infirmary, as Midas said. The blood in the library. It was a pool of blood made by transfusion packs. It was a room of lies. It was like that. It was a little weird when you think about it. I think I saw too much blood. <laughs> they just like poured it all over, dude. In the beginning, Yamaguchi must have been killed in the art room. But it's also strange that there was so much blood in the library. It can be said that they disguised him too much. From there, when it comes to the time of death, I have a guess, Maida. Do you remember? Yeah, Nori would have been perfect for this, too, because she could have been like, Yeah, this is way too much blood. Like, something's definitely going on. That's weird. Maida, do you remember when the trial was about to begin, we met in the hallway on the second floor when I just woke up? Are you talking about that time? Yeah, I definitely told Maida about this. Right before being stunned by the killer, I saw Yamaguchi bleeding and fainted. Ah, oh, wait. So that was in the library though right yeah yeah it's in the library wait wait obviously K kinzo was attacked but <laughs> that's my new nickname for you kinjo of course it was at nighttime yesterday then yamaguchi kun was um monokuma files some bleeding blood transfusion packs and what kinjo mentioned 
I can only say that if the evidence comes out one after another up to this point, then we can make sure of things going properly. All right then now, everyone knows for sure Kakuri Yamaguchi was not dead at 8.40 this morning, but 8.40 p.m. yesterday and night. Man, that's like even before bedtime too. So that's how it happened. Yeah, not even um when uh like the, you know, nighttime thing goes off. Pretty good, incompetent. I'll praise you on this one. I knew you had a brain deep, 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 deep down inside there. I mean, you were locked away, so you didn't know that. Shut up, don't pretend to be all smartass. But oh well, I'll admit for, for a little bit. I know the killer, as I said before, but I was not sure about the trick. I'll tell you that my gaze on the incompetent has changed about 0.1%. <laughs> eh, that was it. That was a compliment, right? But don't say anything stupid or I'll go back down. Yes, I guess all the mysteries have been solved because Yamaguchi was already dead yesterday. The trick for Inori was solved too. That also includes the movement of the blood spots and the corpses all over the place. It was indeed solved too. However, the real issue begins after this. Then who is the killer? That is the problem we have in our hands. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Nobody has an alibi. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, wait, I mean, uh, um, uh, we will figure it out. If, yeah, it's too early to be happy just yet. Even if we solve all the tricks and mysteries and questions, we don't know the culprit, then this is a bad outcome. But if the contents so far are true, the criminal deliberately wanted to make 8.40 p.m. and 8.40 a.m. different. The timing was thoroughly calculated for the murder, right? Also spraying a blood transfusion pack and even having... Well, I guess they would still... I wonder when they would do the blood transfusion pack. Because I'm trying to figure out, like, um... <laughs> hashtag Kendra Colt and the Sir Sergey Fan Club president. Hashtag Kendra Colt. Nice. <laughs> Love the username. Um, what was I going to say? Ah, oh, man, what was I saying? I was thinking of something right now. Um, oh, yeah, when would they do the transfusion pack? So it be maybe before we went looking for everybody? I guess it kind of depends, because I was like... I don't know. I'm a little suspicious of Kenji, but like, I feel like it's probably like, I don't know. I feel like it's either like Kenji or Satsuki maybe. Is Makako a suspect to me? I'm trying to remember where she was during all of this. Cause I'm just trying to think, I feel like it makes sense for it to be somebody on the bottom floor that did it. Cause even with that, there's like the transfusion blood packs. Like when would you have time to like spray all of that? You know, like um, you'd think it would be while people are in, Investigating or maybe before maybe it'd make more sense before it probably would make more sense if it's before when we were all in the cafeteria If I had to guess if that's the case and it's between Makako and Kenji, I believe okay <laughs> Also spring the blood transfusion pack and even had the guts to kill two people and attack up to three people in a single night Yeah, this case is somewhat impulsive and different from the two previous cases which are considered semi-accidents. This person's a fucking psychopath. I'm certain this was a planned murder, committed with a crime plan. <laughs> Kendra's words are correct. Unlike the previous two in incidents, I feel a firm malice. Yeah. Are, are they really among us? A killer who carefully murdered like this. Sus, sus. Kendra, what should we do in this case? If all the tricks are really solved, and you only need to find the culprit, you should start with an alibi. Since you know the real time of death of Yamaguchi, you will naturally know who the killer is if you look at each alibi based on this. Alibi, you mean? Let's weigh each one. First of all, tell me what everyone did at 8.40pm yesterday, the real time of death of Yamaguchi. Yesterday at 8.40pm, at that time, surely wasn't at the time Tyro was making a fuss? Yeah, I'm like... I didn't expect it to be at 8.40 p.m. I'm like, what was everybody doing then? I don't remember. Tyra's fuss? Oh, yeah, that... And Tyra tried to kill herself last night. It's no... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's no big deal. We, we already started out. Don't worry about it, Kenjo. Uh, freaking Kenjo's gonna be like, of course she would. Trying to kill another person. A freaking murderer, Tyra. <laughs> It's no big deal. Tyra just got hurt a little. I was there. It's irrelevant for the case. Is it though? Makako-chan. Right, so that leaves Kurokawa, Ochari, and I who were there. Iranami, Kobishikawa, and the five of us were supporting Tyra. Okay, Kurokawa, Ochari. So Makako was there. Ochari was there. I was there. 
Satsuki was there, Haru was there, and they were all supporting Akane. So it's basically, yeah, it kind of leaves it down to like the people, the other people. I'm like, trying to think. <laughs> when I recall that, I think I was, it was around 8.40 p.m. Okay, if so, I think you can remove the six of you from the suspect line. That's a lot of people to remove from being a suspect. Good, so the ones left are the psycho cop, the priest, and me. I was like, yeah, is that it? I was like, no, does that mean Kenji did it? I was like, I really don't think it's the other two. Huh, but isn't it weird? Those three were three people who passed out because they were aimed by the criminal. It's nothing you need to think about too hard. I don't want to doubt this, but in this case, there's only one possibility. There's proof that one of the testimonies was lying. No! Oh, no. No. I'm so... I really... Uh, I really didn't want it to go in this direction, but I feel like they're about to... I just, like, his is the easiest one to fake. Because he was literally just like, oh, I'm bleeding, I'm dying. And then we go up and, like, uh, go up to him and he's like, yeah, I'm fine, it's whatever. I mean, like, Ray, that would be so hard for her to tie herself up unless she had an accomplice. And it doesn't really seem like it. Uh, Kinjo as well, I feel like it'd be too hard to, like, I don't know, like, do an, like, fake an injury that bad. Mitch Stan, <laughs> join us, Weeby. <laughs> Never! I will never join you. <laughs> oh my god, that's hysterical. <laughs> oh man, do we have three Mitch stands now? Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. I'm really... Cause yeah, my other two suspects were Satsuki and um, Makako, but it doesn't really seem like... It doesn't really... <laughs> Wait, who's the bitch stand for my mod team? <laughs> who who converted? <laughs> Is that you, Jeffrey? I bet that's you. <laughs> that seems like something you'd do. <laughs> Freaking Mitch stand. <laughs> oh my god, they're infiltrating the mods. <laughs> no. No. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> but yeah. Damn it. Uh, I just, I feel like it is gonna be like... I feel like it's... Oh my god, I feel like it's gotta be him between those three. <laughs> I don't want it to be him, though. In between these three, someone lied? First, let's be honest. Be as honest as possible. Why don't you tell us what you were doing at 8.40 p.m. yesterday? I was in the third floor area. I was hanging out on the casino side. Unfortunately, no one can testify for this, but... I was also checking the front door. But as I mentioned, I can't prove it because there was no one around. Same here. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what I was doing. That's my, uh, <laughs> that's my prerogative. I was standing fan. Oh man, this trial is getting juicy. I know! I'm so scared! <laughs> I'm so freaking scared. Really a Mitch mod in my sniping range. <laughs> Get him, Modkey. Get him, Modkey. You can do it. <laughs> oh man, that is too freaking funny. Wait, there are no witnesses for the other three. So you're saying all three are possible to commit the crime? I just feel like it's a lot easier for one of them, though. Well, one of the three was not attacked by the killer. But what if they pretended to be attacked? I'm sorry, but Kenjo, Uihara, Makaru, can you guys tell us the situation when you were attacked at dawn? Oh, let me just make sure I got... Okay, yeah. Make sure I read everything. Oh, man. If, it sol if this solves your doubts, when it was a little over 3 a.m., I was on the way from the first floor to the second floor. And I usually went to the library side, so I moved there. Okay, 3 a.m. Hmm. When I went inside, Yamaguchi was down. I figured he was already dead by now. But at the time, it was necessary to find out if Yamaguchi was simply stunned or dead. But I was trying to approach him. Okay. You were ambushed! Right, normally I'm not always nervous, but I think I was off guard for a moment. Probably the killer aimed for that point, and they showed Yamaguchi's body to me. Okay. They showed it to you? Yeah, so it was on purpose. Ah, oh, no! I bet it is Kenji, though. Who else is smart enough to do this? I guess Makaru, but I don't think she did it either. Yeah, do you understand what I mean? Since Yamaguchi has been moved to the library, it was not as bloody as it is now. Then in addition to simply confuse with Inori, they used it as bait to attract Kenjo. Okay. I wondered why I was only stunned and not killed. 
but they will regret it in return for keeping me alive. I will find them out, and they'll be punished. He always says that, but he hasn't done anything so far. He's always like, I'm gonna get you, Tyra. I'm gonna get you. But then, like, he just kind of says stuff, you know? He hasn't actually done anything so far. It was a similar situation for me, but it was probably earlier than Kinjo's. I was attacked near the stairs while trying to go up to the third floor. How about you, Makario? I'm not gonna tell you anything. I don't know. Well, it's roughly similar. I was attacked near the art room and lost my sight somehow. And when I woke up, it was inside. It was inside the locker. Okay. And she's the one who. I'm trying to think if somebody would have like something on their hand. It's like I don't know if anybody really wears gloves though. But it all happened in the middle of the night, right? Now it seems that all three people were attacked at different times, and there are no witnesses. So how do we know who the killer is? No. Even if we were just attacked. Does, even if they were just attacked, doesn't it seem a little different in the method? The method? Oh my god, is Haru actually making a good point? The attack method. Kinjo and Uihara. I know that we saw them get directly beaten and bleeding, but Makaru is not bleeding, nor assaulted in any way. Um... Then you think Makaru is the culprit? That would just be so hard to do yourself. Do I have to tell you every little thing now? It's chloroform. That's what they did. Chlora what? Like, yeah, you need to show proof of that, though. So it was the chloroform they used? It sounds rare, but it comes out in use for a lot of things. For example, tap your mouth with a handkerchief. That would be an effective way to get someone in a coma. You mean that stuff is in this school, too? Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, you know, I just like to leave little, uh, little things here and there for you guys. Just, you know, for the Chapter 3 killer. If you had searched the science lab with even a little interest, you would have been able to find, out, find it right away. But it seems your stupidity is not going away. Remembering the moment just before that attack is must, uh, must have been a handkerchief that was put in my mouth. Okay, if that's what it was. Yeah, you know, Yuki was pretty busy trying to figure out what a faucet was, so he didn't have time to look for the handkerchief. Oh, really? Who really is the culprit when it comes to alibi? One of those three are still a suspect. Don't think about the process. Let's consider the cause. Why were they ambushed? Why only them? Why them? Well, the killer is a little strange. It wasn't enough to kill two people, so they attacked three other people. If we put it simply, isn't it because they wander around at nighttime? And wow, if they had some alarm for vibrations prepared in advance, or if the corpses were found, it would be a headache. Hmm. Maybe, but... Okay, I see what you're saying. Like, just because, um... No, there's another Mitch Stan who joined the mods. <laughs> Who's turning on me? <laughs> Why are all my mods Mitch Stans now? No. What is happening? <laughs> Why did this have to happen? <laughs> I love how there's, like, a separate lore going on in the chat of these streams. Like, I look over and there's, like, people getting married. Mitch Stans taking over. <laughs> It's always a new, always a new surprise. <laughs> Maybe, but... Oh, I have a little guess. I didn't say this because I wasn't sure, but the cell phone was used to kill Inori. Disappeared after I was attacked. I think it does make sense, but... But, guys, remember, he's a boomer, okay? He's a boomer. He doesn't even know that cell phones can vibrate, so it can't be him, right? Right? Right, Kenji? Tell me it's not you! After I was attacked, I mentioned this to you, Maida, didn't I? Oh yes, you were looking for it in the second floor hallway, right? Oh yeah, Uihara had the tools necessary for the crime. So they attacked him and took it from him. Ah, oh, I see. Then there was a reason for Uihara's ambush. If that's the reason, why did they attack Kinjo? If Kinjo moves normally at the time of the crime, it would be difficult for the culprit to get out. Plus, he's the ultimate police officer, right? That was also the result of the two previous cases. Actually, in this case, Kinjo is struggling like this because the trial began without Kinjo collecting enough clues, right? Yeah, that was totally on purpose. Even though I did research properly, your tone... <laughs> tone has seemed to pass it all to me. Hey, hey! Let's not do that! If the trial fails, Kinjo's life is also at risk, you know? I think it was Chiaki who would do that. Hey, hey! That's cute. Well, it seems like I can see the truth after coming this far. Huh? I've been suspicious of it, but when I think about the information I've gotten so far, I can see the silhouette of only one person. The killer. I believe some of you may have realized it. How about it? The killer silhouette. 
can be seen. Wait, what? I thought he was. It's, I was like, is he just being like uh, artsy, or is he actually being serious? What do you mean, Kenjo Kun? You know the killer? Huh. Everyone's remarks so far with the outline of the case and the alibis combined makes a person who is making contradictory statements. The person is the true culprit of this case. Contradictory statements? Is it them? If the alibis were all true, the culprit must be one between Kenjo Uehara or Makaru. The one who made a contradictory statement among them is... Do I ever say he was... Mitch. <laughs> I would love it if Mitch was a, uh, <laughs> was a, a choice. Oh wait, he is a choice! <laughs> oh my god, god freaking dang it, Mitch. <laughs> I am so fucking tired of you. <laughs> what happens if I do this? <laughs> I kinda wanna do it, but I feel like the reaction's just gonna be in, uh... It's just gonna be in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> but I would love it if they were just like, what the fuck are you talking about, Mida? <laughs> no, guys. I believe it. I know. God, he's just been staring at me with that smug little fucking smile. God, I'm so sick of him. I'm so fucking sick of him looking at me like that. Would you guys hate me if I did that? I kind of want to see. I kind of want to do it. <laughs> Look at his stupid fucking smile. <laughs> Let's just do it for the meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I was like, I didn't want it to be in Korean. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I was hoping it would be like Kinjo or somebody big. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, guys, I'm positive it's gotta be him. It's gotta be him. There's no other freaking way. Okay. <sighs> I honestly don't know what contradictory statements he's making, but I do feel like it is Kenji. Just because, like, it makes the most sense for him to, like, fake his um, injury. I don't really feel like Makaru, like, I don't know. I mean, she's, like, mean and stuff, but I don't really see her being a killer. I don't see Kenjo being a killer either. <laughs> I don't want it to be him, though. Why did he have to be evil? Why did he have to be so fucked up, too? He's about to go on some psychotic rant about, like, how he did it for God or something, right? I just feel it. I feel it in my bone. I feel it in my bones, dude. Uh, your turn to Mitch. <laughs> Trigger happy Mitch. <laughs> that is so fucking true, Mitch Stan. <laughs> Mitch Stan number three. Oh, man. Okay, okay. No! <laughs> no, I freaking knew it, but I didn't want to believe it. Oh my god, no, I don't want it to be here. Why'd you have to do this, Kenji? Why you gotta be like that, homie? Why you gotta be fucked up, dude? Oh my god. Why? Kenji, when you slay, you're just supposed to look good. You're not supposed to actually slay people. Don't you understand? When I say slay, I mean slay, not slay. Come on, come on. <sighs> Don't tell me. <laughs> Was it you? Here we are. God damn it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh man, I just wanna beat something up, dude. I'm so mad. I wish I had a Mitch plus plush that I could just freaking punch. I was like thinking about punching my so plush, but I was like, he doesn't deserve that. Kinji. Uehara. <laughs> huh? What in blazes? Uh, it can't be him, Yuki, because I love him. Don't do it, do that! God dang it. Oh man. I don't want it to be him, dude. I love him so much. <sighs> Fuck this game, dude. <laughs> Fuck this shit, dude. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I had a feeling once I was thinking about it, I was like, he's acting a little bit like Celeste with that head thing, but I was like, surely not. Surely, surely not. Surely my boy wouldn't do this in the stream here, Lamau. No. Hashtag Kenji is over party. Kenji has never done anything wrong in his life. I would just like to say that. First of all, <laughs> He's <laughs> like the Kenji defense squad. <laughs> I don't know like what reasoning he had for doing this. Like, oh God. I was like, I would never forgive anybody for doing this to Inori, but it's hard because I just love Kenji. <laughs> Kenji, I mean slay, not slay. God. Oh man. He just misunderstood the definition of slay, okay? 
And like, can we blame him? Can we blame him for that? It's my fault. It's my fault. I didn't explain it properly enough. And that's why, <laughs> that's why he did it. So I forgive him and truly it's my fault. So I, I volunteer, I sacrifice myself. <laughs> Kenji Uehara, was it you? Um, wait a minute, Uehara, this guy? Can you elaborate, elaborate why it is me? I'm not entirely convinced yet. That's so true, Maida. Don't be convinced. But according to Kenjo, the killer said contradictory things. That alibi, if you are the one who said contradictions with your words without an alibi. Hmm. Remember, Kenjo is a boomer. He took Slay literally. <laughs> That's why he took Slay literally. It's all making sense now. <laughs> See, guys, I told you it is my fault. I'll have to be executed in this place. It's okay. Uh, I'll do it for him, for my, for, for my boy. Contradictions with your words without an alibi. There's only you, Uehara. Contradictory words? When did Uehara-kun say those? Damn, this song rocks too. Are these original songs? They're so good. Do you remember what Uehara said moments ago? He said after Uehara was attacked by the criminal in the middle of the night, the cell phone that he had before then disappeared. However, the statement doesn't make sense. Does it make sense? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, wait. Is it because of what Akane... Oh, yeah. That's probably what it is. Probably what Akane's testimony. That's um, uh, making it not make sense. Because she said it was like locked at like... Um, whatchamacallit? <laughs> There's a Kazuna stand now. <laughs> I know that's you, Twy. <laughs> All the stands. All the mod stands. <laughs> I love it. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not convinced about this. It's just speculation, but I couldn't think of anything else other than this as contradictory words. I'll explain so everyone can understand. First, it was 8.40 p.m. yesterday that the culprit killed Yamaguchi, right? If that's the case, then the culprit would have started destroying evidence, such as hiding the spills or wiping the blood. And at this point, Inori must have been held in the hands of the culprit as well. Do you guys remember? Inori's white coat was used for wiping blood for wiping the blood of Yamaguchi. Looking at this, it would be no exaggeration to say that Inori and Yamaguchi were both aimed for at the same time. But why, Kenji, why? And everyone knew Inori died? Inori died from a remote murder using a mobile phone's alarm. She was killed in a thoroughly planned crime. Just by seeing that they had already removed the white coat and used it to wipe Yamaguchi's blood, it was a bold move that was possible because everything was planned and prepared. <sighs> to summarize this, they killed Yamaguchi first with full preparation, brought Inori into the trick just as planned. It must be said that everything was going according to their plan. All the preparations were completed since the beginning of time when they were attacked. What did he see in his tape, dude? I wonder how that's gonna come into play. Otherwise, they would have gambled on remaining risks. Indeed, after all those preparations, but then what? What's weird about that? Don't you realize? Uehara said that the cell phone was stolen in the middle of the night. Yeah. Could the perpetrator who acted so thoroughly and deliberately carry out such bold actions with a mobile phone not in hand? No! It's not looking good for you, bro! Huh? Wait a minute! As Midas said, at the time of the killing, Inori... <laughs> God dang it! Kenji was slaying too hard. <laughs> you never slay this hard. You never go full slay, Kenji. As Midas said, at the time of the killing, at the time of killing Inori that way and attacking from yesterday at night, it must be said that they already devised a trick using the mobile phone. If they didn't have a cell phone in hand, you would think and act first and then attack Uihara. Would you think and act first and then attack Uihara without knowing whether or not it will succeed, you will succeed in taking their cell phone? <sighs> Don't say anything, Kenji. It's okay. I already offered myself in place of you, so it's okay. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be, f you're not gonna get ex- I don't wanna see him get executed. Dude, this sucks, man. However, the cell phone was in Uihara's possession since he found it. So how did the killer steal the phone from Uihara? It was either a pre-raid or it was never done in the first place. The answer to this question is very simple. If you were Uihara, 
you would have been able to execute the plan without any difficulty. Uh, say something, Kenji. Uehara did something like that? You, you're the culprit who killed Inori and Yamaguchi? Uh, huh. Oh no, he's about to go on a psycho. He's about to have his sister moment. No. <laughs> it would be funny if like, he actually does just start going like, yes, Weeby told me to slay him. But I didn't know what she meant, so I devised this, <laughs> devised this elaborate plan. Oh god, I'm so scared. Huh. No! Damn it! My vibes for him when I first met him was that he was evil, but I changed my mind once I gave him the holy nails. You... You tricked me, Kenji. You fucking tricked me. You played with my emotions. <laughs> God freaking dang it. I knew never to trust a religious person. Freaking dang it, dude. I should have known. Uh, uh, what? Hey now! Hey now! These are what dreams I made of. I'm gonna turn off my phone. What's so funny? <laughs> no, I apologize, but isn't that a little funny? Why <laughs> you look so evil, bro? <laughs> I'm a murderer who believes in God. Are you just gonna fucking admit it, dude? <laughs> okay, that's totally fine. Okay, no, he's gonna. He's trying to do it. I'm a murderer who believes in God and tells the teachings of the Father. This is outrageous. Oh, I'm gonna use that spiel. But I'm a Christian, Yuki. I wouldn't do that. Ooh. <laughs> a sinister minister? <laughs> oh my god, I love that. So uihara -kun isn't the killer. He is not, right? Who oh, would love me? Of course not. I'm not the culprit. If I say that, would you believe me? Huh? According to your reasoning so far, I'm the only one who needs the conditions of being the culprit. But I can't believe you guys by just saying that I'm the culprit in such a situation. Well, I'm 99.99% .99 certain that you are the culprit. Let's lock him up, boys. Then can I prove myself with the remaining 0.01%? Don't smile at me like that. Don't smile. You're trying to convince me that you are. You are the person. <laughs> The person that I loved and cherished, Kenji, trying to trick me, trying to swindle me again, play with my emotions. The priestly perpetrator. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are wild in chat. What? I said according to your reasoning, which means if your reasoning is wrong, I will not become the culprit either. Uh, Uehara, Uehara, no queen. <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Monkey. Are you saying you have room to argue with? Of course. From now on, let me prove my innocence. Look at my face, Yuki. I'm just so innocent. I'm just oozing innocent by showing that your reasoning is wrong. Are you prepared? Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, I'm glad to see your rebuttal showdown. <laughs> but not like this, man. <laughs> but not freaking like this. The reason you point to me, the reason you point to me as the culprit is because I don't have an alibi at the time of the crime and, and at nighttime, and the contradictory words about the cell phone correct. There's nothing I can say about an alibi, but it's nothing but an assertion that you say I'm the culprit with just that. So let me show you why it's not strange at all if I had my phone stolen that night. Hey, bro, I want to believe you. I already do believe you. It's just Yuki who doesn't trust you. <laughs> Bloody Locker, Makario's testimony, Inori. Oh, whoa. Who is this, dude? <laughs> um, Inori's body, library, bloodbath, Bloody Locker. Okay, I thought it was going to be Akane's testimony. Embra, I have no idea. Makario's testimony? <laughs> Hippie boy, can we get for the father, uwu? <laughs> for the father, uwu. I would never do that. Except if it's for the father. It's like, man, ah, freaking Kenji, freaking betray my ass, dude. Okay, Bloody Locker, Makarius, testimony. What did you say in her testimony again? When I pulled Makari out of the locker, she has to show the right hand. Called this action minimal precaution for life saving. What would be on his hand, though? If the trial gets blocked at some point and everyone is in danger of dying, she'll say something. That is so cool of you. <laughs> Inori's body. I'm trying to think. Okay. 
the state of Nori's body, he died in the science lab. The whole body was tied with four folds, five layers of public box tape, and both hands were tied with ropes, fixed the table. If I was tied up this much, it wouldn't have been able to bear it. How is... However, what was the reason to tie Inori so thoroughly? Maybe it's Inori's body, then. Um, what was Bloody Locker? I don't think it's Library Bloodbath. Um, Bloody Locker. Do, 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 do. Where is this? Oh, wait. <laughs> I got another donation. Sorry. <laughs> Getting distracted. I can't believe a Christian would go on a crusade. That is so unlike them. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Oh man, you guys are so funny to chat, dude. You all have been killing me. Here we go, bloody locker. The locker where Makara was tied up. There's a lot of blood on the inside. Even Makara is unharmed. He was the owner of the blood. The blood wasn't sticky. It was almost dry. In other words, the blood that has been spilled for quite some time. There are a few conditions that could match. How did this happen? I don't know. I still kind of think it's Makara's testimony or Anori's body. No, I think it's Anori's body. I don't know. Oh, it would. We'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. Your reasoning is well put together. But is that all the really the right answer? Okay. Did you know the premise? Didn't you know the premise is wrong? For example, would Yamaguchi really be dead at 6:40 in the evening? Okay, yeah. It's probably gonna be the bloody locker then, right? Okay. I'm pretty sure it was all over already. Yamaguchi is irrelevant because the reason why Uehara is suspected it because why evening Inori was already captured doesn't make sense. That the devil was removed under nighttime. Would the killer have worked so hard and acted rashly without preparation? Come on, Kenji. I'm talking about before that. God, you're so stupid. When Yamaguchi was caught in the evening. Yeah, right? Do, 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 do. Oh, really? No? Oh, did I? Did I Did I move it? No, I was like, I think. Really? No. Oh. Caught in the evening. Really? Hmm. I thought it would have been that one then. What was the other one? From Karu's testimony. Anori. Oh, wait! Is it Anori's body then? Hmm. It was the next morning that we found the body. Oh, fuck. That already reported well. I guess not the bloody locker. Was it really the right answer? Is that messed up? <laughs> Didn't you have the premise wrong? For example, wait. Did I just do it at the wrong time? Wait, really be dead at. Let me try that then. Dang it. Okay, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, the reasoning is well put. Was that really the right answer? What? I feel like that's it, though. I'm trying to think. I'm like, <laughs> Yuki yells in Korean. <laughs> I know he's like yelling at me in Korean. God, Weeby, you're so fucking stupid. It's just the blood was dried then. Okay, maybe. Maybe a Nori's body then yeah i wish they did give us more time to read and think before choosing it's so hard <laughs> it's like nori's body then there is also makaru's testimony i don't think it's that one though i think it would probably be a nori's body i did do it i had so much confidence in that i was like hell yeah that's me however what was the reasoning i guess he's been hyping on you know like uh <laughs> hyping on uh him uh planning so meticulously and stuff, so maybe. I don't freaking know. Play locker, you and I, Gucci. Okay. Oh, really be dead? At, I, I don't fucking know, dude. Please. No! <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to say not all Christians are bad. I saw somebody saying, like, I'm a Christian. I was just, I don't know. I was just kind of, like, you know, making some uh, jokes. Hey, wait. Oh, Finley Thurman, member for six months. Sorry, I almost missed this. He just said he was a Jesus stand for clout. No! That's so sad. But I don't want to, like, offend people because I don't think, like, all Christians are bad or anything like that. I just, uh, I've had so, I've had bad experiences with a lot of religious people. Uh, reasoning is well put. Um, Makaru's test. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, argument one, not argument two. So it should be argument two. I just feel like he's saying the same thing in both these arguments, honestly. I guess we'll try argument two. I'm gonna fucking die, dude. I hate this. Okay, for example, you were told la da ba ba da ba da. It's like, isn't he really be dead at 4 in the evening? It's like, isn't he saying the same thing though here? Oh, wait. I just feel like he's saying the same thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is true. A lot of religious characters in uh, shows and like fiction are bonkers for some reason. Killer, you worked that much. At least they don't. I think, um, 
whatchamacallit. Talking about before that, whether we were caught at eight, we're caught 840 in the eve. Oh, okay. I think I just saw 840 and I was like, it's the same thing. I left a body until, wait, if I left a body there, it would have been possible to, wait, what? Would have been possible to find it? That was a new thing. I keep wanting to go back. I keep wanting to go back to the locker. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I need Yuki to help me. <laughs> yeah, and Weeby, you're so freaking stupid. <laughs> Everyone in the trailer probably like, damn, Yuki's stupid as hell. <laughs> no, guys, it's really the locker. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. So this is what Uihara is saying. In other words, if Yamaguchi died at 8.40 p.m. and Inori was captured, someone could have found the body until the morning after. Wait, Kori is captured. Words, if Yamaguchi died at 8.40, am I stupid? <laughs> okay. He's not entirely mistaken. No matter how late the night was, the three of them, Makari, Kenjo, and Yohara, decided not to follow the rules, so they were able to walk freely. Even if they were attacked because of this, according to their testimony, they said they were attacked at night. At 8.40 p.m., more than one hour remained until nighttime officially began. Does it make sense that the other person, that no other person, other than Kenjo and Makaru couldn't find Yamaguchi or Inori. I'm like a little confused on like what we're trying to like <laughs> say here. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, you don't have to think too much. <laughs> don't think too much, Weeby, you're thinking too much. No, you don't have to think too much about the time of death. This is Uihara's argument to escape doubt somehow. Do do. Okay. They could put a body somewhere without being noticed by anyone before the attack. Reasoning is well put. I still think it's the locker. <laughs> is that really the right answer? <laughs> Didn't you know the premise is wrong? For example, would Yamaguchi really be dead? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't fucking know, dude. I'm just gonna try it. Please God, please God, please God. No! I don't really understand. Okay, y'all want to help me? <laughs> the chat. I was like, I think I'm just stupid. I don't really understand what I'm like missing here. I don't know why I'm so stupid. I don't really know if I totally understand. It's the locker. I use the locker though. I use the locker so much. Okay, repeat the current phase. Yeah. <sighs> I'm trying to think, dude. Let me, um, wait, is it, what was it again to skip these? Okay, I'm trying to think. Using the first argument. I don't even know how I, I'm so confused, dude. If you originally asked me for help, yeah. <laughs> Please, no God. I was like, I just don't know that I, I feel like, yeah, I was like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes these games want you to like say something specific. I was like, it makes sense it's the locker, but I was like, I just don't know that I... I just feel like I used the locker so much already. Not the evil sprite again. Carry out such bold action. Oh, yes, I'm evil. I love being evil. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, I do it for God or something. I don't know. The Father. No. <laughs> something like that. Oh, my goodness. Bloody locker on the last statement. I was like, I could have sworn. Oh, yeah, G is what it is? Oh, yeah, you're right. That's what it was. It's like, I couldn't remember what speeding it up was. Okay, come on. Okay, here we go. Locker on the last thing he says. I just said that I already did that. It's like, it's kind of hard with these. Like, I feel like this one's honestly the hardest because it goes so fast. I feel like I can't even like really read it pop properly. Okay. Let you <laughs> One more time. One more time. One more time, guys. <laughs> it's okay. We're just gonna give it to you this time, Wavy. <laughs> Not really the right answer. Okay. You know, the premise is wrong. Sample, Yamaguchi. Um, so is this one, right? Wait, god damn it. Is that the last thing he says or is it not? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep doing this. One more round of bloody locker. Okay, 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 okay. One more round, then bloody locker. Oh my god. Example. 
I need that button that Monokuma had in Danganronpa 2 where it was like, um, I'm sorry I was born stupid. I always think of that button when I'm doing stuff like this. <laughs> Yamaguchi is relevant because he's relevant. Because the evening, when Oreo has a capture, it doesn't make sense the cell phone is removed after nighttime. Okay, uh, preparation. Just believe me, Weeby. Talking about before that. Yamaguchi in the evening caught at 840. The next morning we found the body. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I can't help that I was born stupid. <laughs> I can't help it, okay? Kenji did nothing wrong. I've changed my name for the better. <laughs> Beautiful. I love that. Okay. I think I just got confused. I think it's honestly, I get like so stressed out because like those, I don't know. I've like always, the sword ones have always stressed me out the most, like out of all the Danganronpa like mini games. I think it's just because it goes so fast and like, I don't know. It just like stresses me out, man. But anyways, yeah, I think especially with this one, you can't really like slow it down, you know? And so I can't really like read it super well. And it's a little bit easier in the main, like, the canon games, too, because they're, like, saying it, you know? <laughs> okay, okay. Anyways, uh, let's keep going on. <laughs> you left the corpse alone. <laughs> Jesus, it took you a long time to figure that out, Yuki. Do you really believe that? Do you have any evidence to deny this? Of course, remember the locker where Makari was kept inside? Inside the locker was covered in blood. Uh, I knew my, uh, my first, uh, my first thought was right. It was just putting it in the right place. Makari did not bleed, so what's the reason for this? Um, Jesus? <laughs> and Makari said earlier, she said the method they used was chloroform, so they didn't bleed from any, any injury. If that's the case, someone else was in there inside. Oh, man, poor Makari then, dude, having to, like, be, uh... In there with like all the blood and stuff around. That's right, Yamaguchi's corpse must have been inside the locker when he died recently. Then the killer stunned Makaru and Kinjo, the only eyes who wandered around at nighttime. Okay, I was literally thinking it was because they're the only smart people in the trial. <laughs> that makes sense too. That's it, then after attacking Makaru, they moved Yamaguchi's body to the library and put Makaru in his place, right? To be precise, they struck Makaru ahead of me and stunned her, then moved the corpse to the library, which made me off guard. This was the order in which they were attacked, capturing Inori, killing Yamaguchi, and stunning Makaru. Last step, it was aimed at me. So what do you think now, Ihara? The reasoning we made is in front of us has fundamentally no issues, no matter what. Excuses you try to argue, it will be the same. It's really hard to believe it, but if you're the true culprit, don't drag this long, don't drag this out long and confess. Doubting anyone like this is something that I don't want to do anymore. As Mida said, it's unbelievable that this guy is the culprit. A quiet, devout believer of God becoming a murderer that killed two people? There's no evidence, no excuse for reasoning about his usual actions or being a Christian. We just have to focus on picking out the person who could only be seen as the culprit. You know, I just gotta rely on the evidence. So then, what are you going to do now, murderer? <laughs> I like how he spaces it out like that. Uehara! <laughs> yes, I apologize. I was wrong. Are you admitting it? I doubt it. No, I doubted your reasoning. Why does he look so cute there? Uh, did he always have that little, like, kind of uwu, like, eyebrow scrunch, like... I doubted your reasoning. <laughs> I guess so. Ooh, woo. Oh, thank you, Marie. Are you going to play Danganronpa another two after you finish Danganronpa another? Yes, I definitely were. Will, for sure. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, by the way. No, I doubted your reasoning, but the time when Yamaguchi died and the time difference tricks seem to be all correct. So according to that reasoning, Uehara is the only one who remains as a culprit. Definitely not. Everyone has alibis except for me, Makaru, and Kinjo. But because I'm the one who kept the cell phone, I'm being mistaken for the culprit. This is so sad. Alexa played Despacito. Monokuma played Despacito. Are you still unaware of all the conditions that can be committed when all of them are pointing at you? I am aware that I'm the only one who meets the criminal's conditions. 
Among the living people, that is. What? You're really gonna be like, no, they killed each other. It was Yamaguchi, that rascal. <laughs> he was so evil. Uwahara, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this guy, how long are you going to force this? What is being forced here is that I'm the culprit. Look at my smile, Weeby. Aren't I just so cute? But I am not. But because you guys are so driven by this, it's no wonder you're trying to desperately, you're desperately trying to get me to accept these charges, aren't you? If that's the case, I'll have to point myself being innocent as the blackened, and everyone will die together. I just, I can't allow that. Oh, that would be just too sad. Yeah, he should go with the ghost alibi. A ghost committed the crime. <laughs> to be so stubborn like that, so you're not the culprit, is that it? Exactly, Taruya. You kidding me? You kidding me, my man? You fool, they're trying to trick us like that. We can't be sure of that. I'm not convinced that Uihara is the culprit at all. You guys are stupid. <laughs> Just saying it how it is. I feel you, Kenjo. What would you say? <laughs> all the evidence points to Uihara as the culprit, and all the tricks are undeniable. Why is Uihara still fighting? Is there something to make any conclusive objection? Now, there still remains one path to make you consider me not being as the culprit. I hope after you hear this, it will change your mind. <laughs> Fucking Uihara, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Non-stop debate. Hopefully this goes better than the crossing swords. <laughs> Anori's body. Kinjo attacked stun gun. I feel like Tyra's testimony is going to be a really big deal. I don't think we've used Anori's body yet, though. Or Kinjo attacked. Eh. I guess maybe. Uh, come on, here, Mount. I don't think he did it, guys. <laughs> He's too cute. He's too uwu cute to do it. Come on, now. I think um, Anori's body was just like kind of talking about like what was the reason to tie her up so thoroughly. I think I'd probably be related to that if it does end up being that. Well, I just keep going. It's whatever. Do 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 do. Anori's body. Among the living people. What do you mean? Stun gun. Tyra's testimony. Think carefully. There must have been someone who could commit the crime besides me. Little Umi. For example, Kanata Inori, I mean. Oh yeah, it was totally her. Inori is dead though! <laughs> Why did the culprit kill two people in the first place? Doesn't that feel odd? This is my idea. Inori kills Yamaguchi and then she kills herself. Uh, how the hell would she even do that, dude? Really? Are you trying to pull this crap? <laughs> how would she tie herself up like that? No. No, Kenji, no. <laughs> Bro, bro, fuck you, Kenji. <laughs> but I love you. <laughs> but I still love you. <laughs> you really think that makes sense? Oh, it doesn't make sense. Nora is also capable of considering committing a serious crime. You would know that best, Kenji. Kenjo, whatever your name is. Obviously, there's no alibi, but... Oh, wait. Eh, stop it. No. And eh, no, no, no. Nori's body. Better way to tape yourself and die by dropping a cell phone. That'd be really fucking hard. Suicide doesn't seem possible. <laughs> <laughs> Just a silly goofy mood. The Inori is not the culprit. Inori killed Yamaguchi at 8:40 a.m. Okay, wait. In other words, it's like this. According to my reasoning, Inori killed Yamaguchi at 8:40 p.m. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna have to go through this whole thing. After hiding Yamaguchi in the locker, she went through the hallways at nighttime and was ambushed and attacked by. Another victim. For the last act, she went to the science lab. She had set up, tied herself up, and waited for the alarm to go off. Huh. Her claims this was Inori who killed Yamaguchi. Crap, when did Tyra go to the science lab? Just before nighttime. It might not be hers then. Hmm. Surely the door didn't even open. I feel like it probably is Inori's body then. But he's already saying that she tied her up, right? It was tied up this much. Wouldn't have been able to bear it. Um, where is that science lab? The whole body was tied. Four folds, five layers of box tape. Both hands were tied to rope to the tables. Tied up this much. Hmm. Well, maybe she could have. I guess it was tape. So. Hmm. I don't know. I just feel like he might be like, oh, well, you know, she could have done it. That's why I said she could have done it, Weeby, you fucking dumbass. Okay, we have our claims that this was Inori who killed Yamaguchi. Inori who has disappeared since yesterday and night. 
It is possible to commit the crime. Oh, thank you. No way out of the ordinary. Hey, Weeby, I hope you're enjoying the game because I love watching you play it. Keep up the good work and I hope you're doing well. Oh, thank you so much. Nobody out of the ordinary. I like your name too. That's cool. <laughs> oh, thanks guys. 1K viewers. Oh, that's so awesome. I appreciate that. Hopefully I don't, <laughs> don't be stupid again. <laughs> I feel like it might happen though. I'm not totally sure. <laughs> not totally sure what I'm going to do for this one. We are claims that it was Inori who killed Yamaguchi. Inori was disappeared since yesterday at night. Is it possible to commit the crime? Hmm. <laughs> okay. God dang it. But is Inori really the culprit? After killing Yamaguchi, did she also commit suicide? There ain't no fucking way, dude. That can't be true. The conclusive evidence. I feel like it's Inori's body probably, but I don't know which one to use it on out of the two at the end. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Hmm. That makes Inori unable to commit this act. That's definitely... Oh, it's definitely something someone told me. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's probably Tyra's then, right? If Inori is the culprit, finishing everything and then going to the end with her death, there seems to be room for an objection there. Think carefully. I'm trying to look through the evidence again. God freaking dang it, game. Can you stop that? Inori's body, Kenjo attacked, stun gun... Tyrus, let me read Kinjo Attack one more time, just so I can like make sure I'm doing this, uh, doing this right. Kinjo Attack. There was blood stain from Kinjo in the library. He said he has fallen unconscious a little farther away from the body, meaning Yamaguchi's corpse. Seems to be no struggle signs from Yamaguchi's body. Seems that Kinjo was attacked after in the library and fell down, but I can't imagine Yamaguchi attacking Kinjo and getting knocked out. I feel like it's probably Tyrus' testimony then. Something somebody told me. I'm like, Kanata, I'm not the blackened, okay? Don't worry, none of us think you're the blackened except for fucking Kenji. <laughs> it's totally Kanata. <laughs> Fuck you, Kenji, but also I love you. I also, I love you and you did nothing wrong. Okay, I think it might be Tyra's testimony. I just need to re-see what he said. It must have been someone who could commit the crime besides me. For example, Kanata and Ori. Inori is dead, though. The culprit killed two people in the first place. Doesn't that feel odd? My idea, Inori kills Gamaguchi, then she kills herself. Stupid. You really think that makes sense? But doesn't it make sense? Inori is also capable of committing a serious crime. You would know that best. Obviously, there's no alibi, but... In order to tape yourself and die by dropping a cell phone, suicide doesn't seem possible. Inori is not the culprit. Okay, let me read some of this stuff a little bit slower. In other words, it's like, according to my reasoning, Inori killed Yamaguchi at 8.40. I don't know if it would be that one. She was trying to try to kill herself by drowning. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. Oh wait, is it a? Uh... Okay, after hiding Yamaguchi in the locker. Yamaguchi in the locker. I am Yamaguchi in the locker. I don't think so. Ambushed. I was ambushed and attacked after. I didn't feel like it got to read this one that well. She went through the hallways. At nighttime, I was ambushed and attacked after the other victim. Wouldn't Tyra have seen that? Is that what they're trying to go for? I feel like it could be that. I feel like it's either this one or the next one. I might try this one first, just so I don't have to like ambush and attack. I was in the hallway at nighttime and ambushed and attacked after the other victim. I'm like trying to think. I was like, does that really uh or wait, always she went through the hallways at nighttime and I was like, after, wait, after Kinjo? <laughs> I'm trying to like, okay, whatever. I don't know, I might just go through it one more time. Okay, so she went to the science lab, she had set up. Also, that she went to the science lab, she had set up, tied herself up and waited for the alarm to go off. I don't think it really, I don't think Tyra's really contradicts that one though, right? It's talking about after Kinjo was attacked or after Yamaguchi was attacked. Dude, that was, what was the reason for that? It's not open. I don't know, I think it might be, um... <laughs> ah! I feel like it's either this one or the other one. I don't know, I might just try this one. Oh, fuck. Her claims is Inori killed Yamaguchi because you've committed a crime. It's gotta be one of those two. I think so. 
Sorry guys, I know I'm being slow. I just like, I just wanna be certain or like more certain, you know? Uh, okay, I wanna like make sure I really understand like what they're trying to say. Okay, there's testimony. Kakuchi at 8.40. After hiding him in the locker. I don't know, I feel like it might be this one, but I'm not really that uh, certain of it. Yeah, no, okay. Something that somebody told him. Wait, does somebody have a spoiler profile picture? Uh, ban them, please. Somebody ban them. I haven't seen it yet. I guess I'll cover up the chat. Why do people do this? Why do people do this, guys? <laughs> Don't put a freaking spoiler as your profile picture. <laughs> Why? It's so easy to not do that. It's so easy to not do that. Man, this one's kind of hard, I feel like, compared to the other ones. Okay, because like I feel like the other one, at least the crosswords one, I feel like I kind of knew what they were trying to say. I just wasn't getting the right lines. I was like, I just don't know if I totally understand his argument. Inori's body. Kenjo attacked. He said it was something somebody else told him though too, so that's why I'm like. That's why I'm like, was it Kenjo? It's like after Kenjo was attacked. Kenjo the library. There must have been someone who committed the crime besides me. Hmm. For example, Kanata and Ori, I mean. Ori is dead, though. Why did the culprit kill Supo in the first place? Doesn't that feel odd? Kills Yamaguchi and then she kills herself. Stupid, you really think that makes sense? Zanori is also capable of committing a serious crime, you should know that. Only, obviously there's no alibi, sorry, I'm like distracted by, uh, <laughs> distracted by the chat talking about debating about the spoiler profile picture now. <laughs> obviously there's no alibi, but in order to tape yourself and die by dropping a cell phone, I just like don't really know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here, to be totally honest. It's impossible, and we're the culprit. I'm gonna kill the Yamaguchi at 840. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Hiding Yamaguchi in the locker. So, is that why he used her jacket too to clean up the blood to frame it on her? God, he was really meticulous with this, huh? <laughs> oh man. I was like, see people like just going off in the chat over stuff. <laughs> okay. It's like, am I stupid? I can't help that I was born stupid. <laughs> Kenjo attack. If we're hiding Yamaguchi in the locker, what's the next one then? I have time to throw the scythe under. <laughs> Tadori's deathless instant. She didn't have time to throw the scythe under the floorboards. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, it's like, Tyra testimony? The last one with Tyra's testimony? I don't know, dude. Maybe. Did I do that one? I think I did. Ambushed and attacked. I think I did that. Did I do that one? So this one? Okay. I didn't know if this would counter it just because, like, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Aqua <laughs> ZX. I'm happy somebody else doesn't understand. <laughs> we can both buy the Monokuma pin. <laughs> Uehara, that's wrong. Your rebuttal is full of contradictions. Oh, man. Is that Maida? Why is that? All of you were in the dormitory at night time and attacking Kinjo. Makaru and me would not have been impossible for Inori at all. As you say, Inori killed Yamaguchi, attacked Makaru, Kinjo, and Uehara, finished all the work, including the blood transfusion pact. Okay, Inori... Okay. So as you say, Anori killed Yamaguchi, attacked Makaru, Kenjo, and Uehara, finished all the work, including the blood transfusion packs, and finally went to the science lab to repair to commit suicide, right? Yes, yeah, so no one saw it, which means you can't deny Anori's crime. There were, there were no means, am I correct? No, they saw it. I feel like I'm yassifying Kenji's voice. Like, the more, the more evil he gets. No, they saw it. The reason why Inori can't be the culprit is because someone freaking saw it. What? Hey, Danago, according to your stupid plan, huh? 
Tyra, you must have been around that time, right? By the science room, just before the nighttime yesterday. You said the door didn't open. I was like, I just don't know how that rebuttals what he was saying, because, like, I feel like... Well, I don't even know how he left the science lab, to be totally real, when he, like, blocked it or whatever. Because the only reason we even got in in the first place is because Ray broke the window. So I thought, you know, he could just be like, Oh, well, you know, I was locked because she was already in there preparing her death. Oh, Yuki. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, yes, the door didn't open. It's weird, right? According to Uihara's words, Inori at that time, after moving Yamaguchi's corpse and attacking Kenjo, etc. You need to be prepared. But why didn't the science lab door open? Um, That's right, the answer will come out eventually. Because Inori was already tied up in the science lab at that time. Damn, she was tied up there for a long time, now that I think about it. Because she died in the morning too, right? Uh, but of course, it, it would be impossible to open the door from the outside if you wanted to walk through the entrance. If Inori was committing a crime from the outside at the time, the science lab has already been clasped. It would be a huge contradiction. If Inori was committing the crime from the outside... Oh, okay, okay, so that's what they're trying to say. W wait a minute! <laughs> what do you think, Uehara? Can you still say that Inori can commit crimes? Wait and listen! Just because the science lab was locked doesn't mean it was locked with a latch. Then Tyra, when Tyra tried to enter, the door could have been locked with the lock function attached to the door itself. Nah, bro. Oh my, but then what about this? As a result of my investigation, I found out that the door to the science lab did not have a lock function. There was no space to apply a key lock in the first place. Um, <laughs> um. It's all over, Uihara Kenjo. No further rebuttal is possible. Now confess in good faith. Show us that evil sprite again. Gug. Uihara, please stop and admit it already. I gotta do my little dancey dance first, okay, Yuki? Uh, at least we get to see him dance. We get to see him slay. One last time. One last time he gets to slay. <laughs> ah! Button your shirt, dude! <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, his eyes are coming out of his head! <laughs> I'm crying! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> are you okay, bro? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Why? Why are you? I thought I was lucky that I defeated Sugure, Kenjo, and Makaru Wei. But why? Why can trash without a talent like you drive me to this point? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. Uehara, you know your, your, your character collapsed. <laughs> Uehara, Uehara, slay queen. <laughs> Thank you, Vodki. He is literally slaying. He's taking it very seriously. <laughs> oh my god. Uehara, you know, your, your character collapsed. Uehara, calm down a little bit. <laughs> He's still doing it. Woo! <laughs> This is different than I expected his uh, true nature reveal to be. <laughs> Not so Christian anymore, buddy. Shut up, bitches. This trash. This bitch. This bitch broke down my plan simply because you tried to open the damn door to the science lab. This fucking bitch. <laughs> Oh god, I'm fucking crying, dude, my stomach hurts. Kenji has gone into ultimate yassifying slay mode. He has entered slay mode. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. The door to the science. <laughs> Maybe it's just the part of me that still loves Kenji too, but like. I can see why he's so pissed. He did all this meticulous planning, and then he's like, all because this fucking bitch tried to go to the science lab at like 8 o'clock at night. God dang it. That's the only reason this shit failed. <laughs> huh? <laughs> fucking dead. It's all over. I just heard you loud and clear. It doesn't matter if it's a confession, right? 
Oh my god. So you came down to the end for a mental breakdown. It's pathetic. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I'm still here! Wait! Wait and see! That's you! Yes! That it! That it! Oh, hey! More sprites! Oh, I look so disheveled now. <laughs> I still need proof! There's no evidence! If I'm the culprit, show me the evidence! Hey, come on now, you're not- you're the only one who doesn't have an alibi, right? Shut up, you ex-worth bastard! Do you want to get stuck in the ground from head to toe? Hmm? Uh, yeah, why did you suddenly turn into such a vile criminal? <laughs> this is so fucking crazy. <laughs> the alternating caps too. Oh my god. Not like a criminal, but he is a criminal. So you won't admit it, even though you're the only one who could do this. Just ignore him and vote, will you? If you look at what Uihara just said, what's the point of incapacitating Kinjo and Makaru? <laughs> no heaven for you. Also, Inori is the best. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Inori Stan. <laughs> you finally get to see her justified. <laughs> Kinji material girl. <laughs> that is so true. That is his true form. Oh my god, this is so fucking funny. I did not expect him to start cursing. <laughs> Just ignore him. <laughs> Where's Makako when you need her? For real. Maybe she... <laughs> Somebody needs to yesify Kenji. He has gotten off the rails. You know, he hasn't been able to watch RuPaul RuPaul's Drag Race in weeks. And this is what happens to him. He forgets the definition of slaying. He's confused now. And that's the only reason why he's done it. And truly, he's done nothing wrong. <laughs> Guys, Kenji's really a good guy, okay? I'm gonna do a... Uh hour-long character analysis video on why Kenji did nothing wrong. <laughs> on why he did nothing wrong. He's a good boy. He's never made a mistake in his whole entire life. And I should do like one of those like analysis videos. Like there's like a victorious one I saw recently. It was like eight hours long. It's gonna be an eight hour long Kenji <laughs> character analysis video on why he did nothing wrong. He's a perfect person. <laughs> and he just slays, okay? <laughs> Just ignore him and vote, okay? What's the point of it in capacitating Kenjo and Makaru? And this is almost like a confession, right? I'll kill you! I'm gonna kill the bastards who are going to vote right now, treating me as a criminal without evidence at all! And you're like thinking this is all done! What do we do? I think we just vote, guys, okay? Uehara, if you show the evidence, are you going to finally admit it? Oh, I'll admit it. If there's evidence like that, not speculative remarks or alibi blanks, real physical evidence, you bastard. Oh, I, I'm not a bitch anymore? I'm a bastard? There might be. What? Marta, you know this, but it's only going to be slower if you let him catch the holes with poor evidence. Unfortunately, I can't help you here, because I have nothing more to come up with. Will you be okay, boyfriend? Yes, I will. Yes, it's okay, Uehara. Yes, it's okay. Uihara, who is not sane, is just going to forcibly, forcefully scream against the opponent. He's not really going to be saying any good remarks at this point, okay? I think I, I think I got it down. I'll make sure to present the proof correctly. And then you will finally admit it. Don't joke around, Yuki Maida! You're just a lucky, incompetent human being! <laughs> Uihara, from now on, I'll show you conclusive evidence that you are the culprit of this case. It's so funny seeing him go from, like, Kenji to, like, Yuki, who's so, like, calm and collected. <laughs> hey, Kenji in the chat. Slay? Oh, slay! Slay! Oh, I think I found a new slay that I prefer, Weeby. <laughs> I prefer this kind of slang, uh huh. Kirtrike, Kenji Uehara, I'm sorry, but you were up for elimination. Like, literally. <laughs> what do they say in Ru RuPaul's Drag Race when they eliminate somebody? <laughs> so I can't remember, like, uh, what exactly they say. I feel like it's something kind of meme though. <laughs> okay, Uehara, I'm gonna show you conclusive evidence, okay? It may be a little sloppy, but if my predictions are correct. You will have no other choice but to admit it. Okay, so stop being psycho. Kia! Is this fun for you? Do it then! Do whatever you want! If it's evidence or unreasonableness, I'll make you a criminal and execute you myself! <laughs> my god! <laughs> oh my god, I love this. <laughs> for making fun of an innocent person! 
innocent we are is certainly not sane right now <laughs> and about this evidence i can't say for sure but i do believe not only in me but i believe in my friends too <laughs> especially haru and otari would you like to refresh your memory i don't know guys should we refresh my memory <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one more time. Oh wait, really? It's actually gonna do it in English? Terminating talk shit is a game that's offset the accusation of a pony. You can only present conclusive evidence so that no more excuses are made up. Kenji, shashe away! <laughs> is that it? <laughs> it's time to shashe away. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, dude. <laughs> I'm doing an edit of like, uh, <laughs> of, uh, Yuki eliminating Kenji. More excuses are made up when the speech pulls the opponents. Remark if you remove the crosshair and push the decision key to destroy it. Oh yeah, it was like Z, enter. I think shift is, oh yeah, shift is reload, Z is to destroy it. I know how to do this one. I just wanted to see it be in Korean, but apparently I just can't even have that final, <laughs> that final enjoyment before I lose my best boy. Before I lose him. <laughs> no, he's still doing the sprites. Stop it. Stop it, Kenji. I can't admit it. I won't admit it. Oh, I can't admit anything. I've done nothing wrong, Yuki. <laughs> I will kill you. And you've given no solid evidence. <laughs> Who is this? Celeste is not the culprit. Don't make me laugh. I'm not the culprit. I'm not the fucking culprit. Cheer up. <laughs> what the? Oh, thank you, Kazuna. Oh, what a good girl. Oh, shit. Even though she distracted me. I'm not the culprit. Oh, no, no, no. Make me laugh, Yuki. I'm not the fucking culprit. I'm not the fucking culprit. I can never be the culprit. Okay, 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 okay. I can lose. I can die. I can die. I can die. Okay. I just have to go finish this. Okay. Oh, shit. He's killing me. He's fucking me up, dude. I'm not the culprit. I'm not the culprit. I'm not the culprit. Come on, dude. Oh, my God. I'm fucking dying, dude. No. Why are you so good at this? Oh god! Did I die? I think I died. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I died. Okay, okay, okay. You are right, you are right. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? <laughs> I can't tell if the uh, Kazuna thing was kind of like messing me up at all. I knew last time I uh, was kind of messing up a little bit when I did this terminating talk shooting. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, do 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 okay, no, 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 okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill you, I'll kill you, I'll kill you. Uh, no, 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 god damn it. It's so hard to get to it fast. On um, the culprit, don't make me laugh. Uh, no, 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 I thought I shot it, I thought I shot it! Okay, I thought I shot it, I thought I shot it, no, come on, Kazuna. Please help me, Kazuna, please help me, please help me. Please help me, help me, see, if, please. No, Kenji's killing me, he's killing me, Kazuna, he's killing me! <laughs> I'm not the culprit, I'm not the culprit, I'm not the culprit! Okay, 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 it's going better this time, I think. Okay, maybe the loser can't die. I can't die. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Kazuna. I would be dead without you. I'm so glad you guys made me do this. No, okay. Okay, I get the last one. Okay, I need to do the big ones first. I think that was where I messed up before. Okay, no, 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 Okay, your statements are speculations of no evidence. Last Makaru's last trump card. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was so scary. Oh, Uihara, Uihara, no. Oh, baby, what is you doing? <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Thank you, Kazuna, for saving my fucking ass. Dude, that was so hard. <laughs> okay. He was so fast, dude. He really does know how to slay, man. Say what you want about Kenji, but he he knows how to slay. <laughs> Uehara, unfortunately for you, there's already clear evidence of your crime. Oh man. Oh yeah, she's oh she's cheering for me because she's a cheerleader. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> you can only <laughs> you can only be said to be the culprit with this conclusive physical evidence. You don't want to bring that up yourself, Makario. I like to see you squirm and competent. <laughs> Puff. There's nothing like that. What is that, Mita Coon? That's unfortunately I do not know. Oh, what? Stop joking around. Why'd you have to say it like that? However, Makaru knows it. M Makaru? Hold on. There does this. Where does this confirmation come from? You aren't trying to rely on my reasoning, are you? Because I don't do that. I don't help you guys. Okay. Makaru told you, didn't you? Uh, Makari told you, didn't you? No matter what happens, she has an insurance to cover her life. 
when the aspect of a trial remains unsolved and there's a corner with no answer you will show us the last piece of evidence you fucking girl boss insurance maybe there's something only that woman knows it's a little frustrating, but I know this isn't the time. I'll stay out of this. Just fucking show the evidence, okay? <laughs> Wait a minute, I did in fact say that to uh, incompetent, but it's not like that. The killer is already cornered and running crazy, right? I mean, come on, guys, it's obviously him. Why do you think I'm going to let you know? This woman doesn't even want to cooperate in this situation. I mean, it is kind of true. It's like, we're all going to vote for him. What does it matter if, like, she says her evidence or not? Look at us, Makaru. We are believing in you. So are you finished then? It's over. After all, Midas just been bluffing and throwing unfounded accusations. Your proof is. A Makaru that doesn't even want to cooperate. Ha, this is just great. She knows nothing. There's no physical evidence that I'm the culprit. <laughs> I'm gonna yassify you, Yuki, if you know what I mean. Just like I yassified Anori. <laughs> Me not know anything. Oh yeah, he insulted her uh, confident or her intelligence, huh? Huh, Makari, are you angry? The nasty pig killer. Where do you want your funeral? Can you tell me? Are you going to try prov provocation at the stage? Fine, I'll write your will then. It doesn't matter if I vote for Kinji Uehara and in the trial as it, as it is. But if I do, it feels like I'm just being beaten. <laughs> Whatever are you talking about? Maybe you all remember it. When I was investigating after the incident, I asked all of you to show me your right hand. Yeah, you, huh? To everyone? You did, but I didn't know the meaning of it. You did that strange act to all of us? Wait, I didn't know about this. You didn't do that to me, right? Oh, <laughs> I just knew it wasn't you. You woke up late. I didn't have a chance to do that. Well, there are some mysteries that were solved before that. Yeah. After asking for my right hand to show, I'm surprised he even showed her a right hand. Like, Kenji, let me see your right hand. Um, I don't know. Oh, I'm just gonna stretch it over here, down here. Oh, can't see it, can't see it. <laughs> After asking for my right hand to show, she held me tight as if rubbing my hand, rubbing my right hand. Was there something about that? I was surprised. I wasn't really sure what it was. I didn't think she was that kind of person, but what's up with that? The reason I did that was to check the back of your right hand. The reason I wrapped it with my hand was because I needed darkness. Heart of darkness. and da Darkness. I feel like I have to say it like that because of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm talking about, why don't you all give it a try? Look at the dark side by covering the back of your right hand. Oh, I gotcha. Huh? It's all clear here. Even if you ask me to wrap it up, it's just the back of my hand. What do you expect to see? Well, I definitely told you to try it, everyone. Why are you staying still, Kinji Uehara? <laughs> Ue Uehara? Ah, oh, hey, stay still, you! Ah. <laughs> Let me go! Go away! Oh my god! He's got full psychopath! Oh, shit. Hey, what the hell is this on the back of your hand? I don't know. I don't know anything. Oh, please. You must know. What you got there is a luminous paint. Damn. What the fuck? She's so smart, dude. What a badass. <laughs> but Weeby, how many sides does an octagon have? Eh, you know, 12 or something like that. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Ray really just went, bitch, you thought. For real. For real. Luminous paint? God, she is so freaking smart, dude. I was mocked by you. Don't joke around in <laughs> the freaking caps, dude. You and I never met at the time of the crime. There wouldn't have been a time to be mocked like this. Oh my, why are you saying that? You definitely met with me, right? When you put me to sleep with chloroform. Damn, she is so fucking smart, dude. Damn, what a fucking girl, boss. I don't know what you're talking about. So it seems you think I'm the culprit, is that it? And even if that were the case, isn't it obvious that the killer attacked you? But here you are, just claiming that you've used luminous paint in your hand. Just because that's your own opinion. It's just your opinion, bro. I'm sorry, Makaru, but this isn't possible without knowing in advance that you'd be attacked. This is why you guys are so fucking pathetic. Did you think I wasn't prepared for anything and going as usual every night? 
Oh, she's trying to see if there is anything suspicious going on every night. You do care, Ray. Oh, my God. <laughs> Heart. You care about us, huh? Prepared. Trying to see if there's a killer. Well, I mean, it might be mostly to prepare herself, but I think it's also to protect us in a way, you know? I'm just gonna say that, okay? I'm gonna say she cares about us. You, no way. The one who put this luminous paint, it was you? That's right, do you think I'm stupid enough and I'll trust you guys when I don't know the outcome? Before Maki Kiyoka died, I was always prepared for anything. Well, besides the glowing paint, I prepared other tricks. I'm a woman and I have no idea who and when someone will come at me. Damn fucking girl boss! Shout out to Miss Ray Makaru. Please step on me. <laughs> See? See, Ray? Kyoka supports you 100% from the grave. Aww. I mean, it is kind of true, too. It's like being a woman, whenever I'm walking downtown or something, I'm like, I gotta be prepared just in case. Gotta have some, like, a taser on me. Something. So I tried to use glowing paint, only in the worst case scenario. Or... Worst case scenario, are you saying even if you die due to the glowing paint, we can find out who did it? Is that what you mean? By the way, Makaru's selection of words, it feels a little... <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that what she was trying to say? What? <laughs> it feels a little erotic. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, uh, I didn't get that Satsuki, but okay, cool. <laughs> Fortunately, I only fainted this time, but my life was in danger. Should I say that I was lucky? And she does care about us. That was why she did the paint, so she could, like, help us if she died. Girl, I knew you cared. I knew you cared deep down inside, even though you called Kazuna a bitch. It's okay, Kenji's called me a bitch, too. I'm used to it. <laughs> Everybody's going around in this game calling each other bitches. Fortunately, I only fainted this time, but my life was in danger. Should I say that I was lucky? I was trying to use the luminous paint for the purpose of something else. Like a dying message. But I can live like this and drive off the killer's smug face with one sentence. I guess she'll probably be like, it was just because I wanted to beat them even in death. But I'm gonna like, I'm gonna think it's because she cares. But even so, at some point, I could have... You're an idiot, aren't you? If you're curious, you'd better think about which hand you put chloroform in my mouth. Ugh! <laughs> in other words, Makari said that the killer put his hand on her mouth, meaning you applied the glowing paint before fainting? Just before you lost consciousness? Makari, what a scary person! What do you think? Are you still going to hit the ball, killer? <laughs> I th not yet! All she said is just lies! That's just her opinion! Because I, I just rubbed this glowing paint by myself yesterday! I was trying to yassify myself! And what better way to do that than to use the glowing paint? There's no makeup in here, Yuki! You gotta believe me! How else am I supposed to slay? It has nothing to do with this now! This woman is the culprit! <laughs> oh my god, dude, he is totally... <laughs> totally uh, off the rails at this point. You just said something you don't know about with your own mouth just a few moments ago. What are you talking about? Don't make me laugh. Don't joke around. I'm not the culprit. I'm not the culprit, okay? Uehara, stop it now. It's already over, dude. Please, don't ruin my image of you even more. Don't make me laugh. Um. Uh, can, we just, can we just finish this up, guys? Uh. <laughs> um, there is no one on your side already, Uehara. Speaking any more than this is nothing more than a futile effort. Come on, bro. <sighs> if you're still not willing to admit it, I'll organize the case from beginning and let you admit it. You will have no choice but to admit it. Oh, man, Kenji. From now on, the climax reasoning will start. You want to read an explanation? I'm good. It's going to be in Korean anyway, so it's whatever. <laughs> okay. After obtaining the blood transfusion pack from the infirmary, after killing Yamaguchi... Wait, this is so cute. Got. <laughs> Why did you do this, Kenji? Why do you look so fucking evil here too, dude? Why? Why? Oh, fucking why, dude? Fuck you, Kenji. Okay, after joining with Makaris, the other way, open the door to the science lab. Nori's body was tied up in order to not be able to move after waking up. Nori being... Ugh, I don't want to see that, dude. Boldly... A bold attack to Makario. Okay, it was probably this one then, right? After attaining blood transfusion... No, no, no. Where did he kill him? Okay, wait. Knocked him out. Uh, after joining Makario... It's just ease, right? Let me do a different one then. 
Okay, he's got the thingy majig. He's got this. Okay, wait. I'm trying to like get this order all set up. This is kind of a weird one. <laughs> okay, stab. It's like I just don't see him like stabbing. Uh, him. I'm guessing it's probably this. No, no. That one then? After killing Yamaguchi the killer, put the. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just didn't see any blood here, so I was like, eh. Okay. Do 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 do. Then I'm cleaning this thing. Do 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 do. Okay, so this is probably when he ties her up, right? Okay, yeah. I think it just tells me if it's wrong, right? Do 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 do. Dude, his fucking eyes there. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, dude. What is wrong with you, Genji? What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, this one you attacked Makaru, right? Okay. His fucking eyes right here, dude. How do you even do that? How would you even fucking do that? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so I think this is when electrocuted all together. Okay. We found Kenji. Trying with Makaru. Together we open the door to the science lab. So I guess that might be the last one then, right? Yeah. And then he's like there, <laughs> smiling fucking evilly behind them. Oh no no no! I'm Kenji. <laughs> this is probably her getting electrified. Oh man, why you gotta be like that, Kenji? Oh wait, really? Oh, okay. Okay, guess this one then. Oh, I thought it would be that she would get electrified first. Okay, I guess uh, this is like never mind. I get it now. I think I get it now. Okay. Ah, oh, nice. Oh my god. Fucking Kenji looking so evil. <laughs> Kenji said Yuri DDC. <laughs> TDLC Act 2. <laughs> no! Oh man. Oh. Anyways, the star is Makako. Go girl, give us nothing. <laughs> she really didn't do anything this trial, dude. <laughs> I think she said like four lines this whole trial. She definitely seems to know like something though. Something big about the killing game. I, I don't know. That was another reason why I thought she might have been like... The culprit or was gonna die soon, just cause like, it really does seem like she knows something about that guy we found the book on and all that. But, oh man, <laughs> so fucking funny. Thanks guys for the donations, I appreciate it. First, the start of the case begins when the criminal attacks Yamaguchi and Inori. I don't know why the two are dar targeted by the culprit. They're like so freaking nice. What the fuck is wrong with you, Kenji? But he did it, cause he's a psychopath. But the killer must have taken Yamaguchi by some means first. Ooh, whoosh. Splatter. Then they took him to the art room and sliced Yamaguchi's neck. The time this took place was at 8.40, which is also listed in the Monokuma file. However, this was not 8.40 a.m. It was last night at 8.40 p.m. In other words, the killer committed a bold crime while we were still roaming around the place. Freaking bitch, rattle rattle. Afterwards, the killer put the corpse in a locker on the art room in the art room to hide Yamaguchi's body. The culprit who su succeeded in killing Yamaguchi immediately focused his efforts on dealing with the crime scene. Rip. Inspect. Wipe, wipe, clean. They opened up the tarp. That prevents blood. This was honestly a really good plot, though. Like, this is definitely one of the better <laughs> murder plots for the third chapter killers. They opened up the tarp that prevents blood from splattering, cleaned up the murder weapon used as the intake, and wiped the blood with a Nori's white coat that had been removed beforehand. However, while using the tarp, a small hole was left due to the killer's mistake, and the white coat was not the white coat was not properly erased. I want to know, like, I want him to explain what he saw in his tape. I'm sure he just like wants to leave the killing game and stuff, but I really want to see more like of his personality. Thanks to this, it cleared a lot of circumstances surrounding the methods of disposal. Sparkle, shiny, <laughs> cleaned it perfectly. Anyways, as the art room where Yamaguchi was killed became clean. This time they devised a trick to kill a second victim, Inori. That's right, it involves the phone and stun gun. It was a method of electrocuting by drowning in water. The stun gun at the predetermined time using a vibration function. Do you do a sleep? Ah, oh, poor freaking, God, fuck you Kenji. 
<laughs> but I don't mean it, Kenji. <laughs> like, I like want to say fuck you, Kenji, but I still love him. <laughs> to do this, the killer went to the science lab and first fixed Sonori's whole body with tape to keep them from moving. Although my love for Kenji has gone from like normal loving a character to like loving a character like I love Kamida, <laughs> you know, or like Junko. <laughs> oh God. And the water from the sink in the science lab was turned into the maximum capacity. After a few hours in that state, the science lab was overflowing with water like a bathhouse. I mean, he really thought through with this shit. He's trying to be like, oh, I don't even know how to use a phone. I live in the mountains. Ooh, ooh. I'm just a monk who lives in the mountains, guys. I couldn't do anything bad. There's one more thing. The killer connected the phone to the stun gun and placed it at an angle as if it were to fall from the desk. And they set the phone alarm to 8.30 a.m. When this happens, the alarm turns on the next morning and the phone makes a vibration movement in minutes. And then the phone starts to fall off along with the stun gun because of the vibration. Then everything was set in stone. The killer locked the door with a latch so no one could interfere with the tricks arranged in the lab. I still really know how he locked the door with the latch. <laughs> Fucking stare, dude. I cannot get over that. After everything was done, the killer probably thought most of them, including me, won't come out of their private rooms because it was nighttime hours. But the problem was that Kinjo and Makaru went around openly at nighttime. As long as they thought that the time when the crime was done in the morning, the trick that everything was set in advance is discovered. In the middle of the night, everything would be over for them. So the killer thought to keep Kinjo and Makaru from moving until the morning after. Hope. Yep. First, the killer attacked Makaru with chloroform and brought her into the art room. They took out Yamaguchi's body that had been in the locker until then, and they put Makaru inside instead. Finds. Whoa! <laughs> Poor Kenjo. <laughs> and then Yamaguchi's body was used as bait to lure Kenjo. The killer put Yamaguchi's corpse in the library and made some extra work to make Kenjo discover the body. Okay, yeah, so he wasn't bleeding then, so that's why Con Kenjo. Kenjo. <laughs> Kenjo just thought he was passed out then. Kenjo discovered the body and then attacked Kenjo from behind in a vigilant gap. Then Ken when Kenjo and Makaru were successfully disabled and no one could interfere, the killer took a breather and started one last final act. Once the morning was near, the killer went to the infirmary and packed a large amount of blood transfusion transfusion packs. Poured it all over the body, poured it on himself, drank a little bit of it, and spread them in Yamaguchi's body to make it look like it was just died and the bleeding was fresh. Oh yes, and then he sprinkled a certain amount. He didn't even fucking hit himself. He just put a little bit of blood on himself. Of course, you think I would harm this beautiful face, Weeby? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be joshing me, Weeby. And then they sprinkled a certain amount of blood on themselves and to make it look like they were ambushed, as to make it look like they were ambushed by the killer. Can she really said it's new DLC, Yuri Hours? <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> In the morning after last night of so many things happening at once, we noticed that a few people were missing, so we moved to search for them in each room of the school. I'm just gonna wait here. Oh, I'm so hurt. I'm dying. Then we met with a killer who was lying down near the stairs after we divided into two groups. We decided to search the second and third floors. Then we found... Found our girl and her boy, and the search that and the second floor found the fallen Kenjo, and the search for the third floor found a fallen, a trapped Makaru. Do you locked ring? Ah. Afterwards, when a member of the third floor checks for an abnormal abnorm, abnormality in the science lab and tries to open the door, the mobile phone and the stun gun hit the water at the killer's present time, falling. It would have been crazy. <laughs> It was so crazy if we got in there before it went out, and then, like, uh, we actually all died, too. <laughs> Kenji would be like, oh, I'm gonna get away from this water really quickly. No reason. No reason to be suspicious of it, but you guys should go hang out in the water. I'm gonna go, uh, let go walk over here. So I'm gonna hit the water, falling, and then, oh my god. What a freaking douche turd. Zap shock. In the water, killing an Ori on the spot. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with him? Enters. Soon after, we managed to open the door to the science lab. Ding dong, ding dong. At the time, at a timing that couldn't be more ideal for the killer, Anori's body and Yamaguchi's body were found almost simultaneously. Ah, but he was fucking smirking to himself. Oh no, it's so perfect. All according to Kakaku Yuki. And what was that? Uh, nothing, nothing. You get and say anything. I'm just mm, uh, coughing over here. The one who was, the one who has done a formidable job, who killed two people overnight, plus injured two people. The identity of this heinous and cruel criminal. 
is none other than none other than this asshole. <laughs> Fuck you, Kenji. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> but I also love you. And I forgive you, you did nothing wrong, it's all my fault. It's none other than you, Kenji Uehara. Man, if I would have done his free time events, I could have fixed him. <laughs> I can fix him. There is no place to run anymore, Uehara. Oh. Oh. oh, you're all composed again. Let me button up my jacket again, okay. <laughs> Uehara? Excellent. As Midas said, no matter how badly it was, this is it. It seems this was my limit. Just pretend you didn't see all that breaking down and screaming and shit. <laughs> what? All of a sudden he came back to normal. Was that it? He must have been acting like Hata now. That means... Did you just admit it? You are the culprit. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I am. I am the culprit. Freaking Kenji, dude. Why you gotta do this? Why you gotta break my heart, dude? Oh, man. It's been so fun, like, memeing on him, but now we have to actually watch his execution. I don't want to see that part. God dang it, freaking Kenji. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. Monokuma, can't you just take me instead? <laughs> oh, I didn't earn any medals. Ah! That was me screaming! God, you suck, Weeby! Well, now I've been watching everything! It seems it's okay to say that you made a decision at this point! This time, no matter how much I play the role of the judge, I'm really sad because I seem to have been too much of a dead weight! No, not my boy Kenji! Damn it! He was the best boy! How to get rid of this anger! It's a vote time of anger! Because this happened, you guys will now have to vote with the switch in front of you! The result of this voting, who will become the blackened? And will your answer be the correct one or the wrong one? It's like after all this, we all just vote for Mitch. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys really think it's Mitch? <laughs> no, what's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? By the way, something. I don't know what I said. Weeby skipped it on accident. Oh shit. <laughs> That's not good. Why you do that, Weeby? Why you always do that? Oh, no, don't do it, don't show it, don't do it, no, not my boy, no. <laughs> Why, Kenji? Why? Why? Why can you just slay in the gay way? <laughs> not in the murder way, god dang it. Uh, in the fabulous way, why can't you just be fabulous? Ah, uh, yes, as a result of your vote, the choice was... <laughs> The correct answer, the only of the black end who killed the two people, Messinori and Yamaguchi Goon, was Kenji Uehara. Huh? Huh? What is it? Did someone think I was going to say those lines before voting? Oh, God dang it, I could have sworn it was Mitch. <laughs> Everybody voted for Uehara, except for one vote for Mitch from Yuki. Uh, really, what is this, Yuki? Can you explain this? Uehara Goon. Um, from the second half of the trial, we've been almost certain of it, I guess. Why did you kill them? Oh, oh, thank you, Barely Mortal, donated $5. Thank you for the live streams. They really cheer me up. Oh, that's so sweet. I really appreciate that. Aw, thank you guys. You guys, like, honestly, these types of comments, like, make my day. So I really appreciate, uh, I really appreciate that. I'm glad I'm able to cheer you up. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> You're sorry? Yes, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I... I'm shall we? <laughs> he says like a baby way. What if I say a cuter, Kenjo? Will that, will that, uh, will that help? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. And Maida's just over there. Don't worry, Kenji, I forgive you. He's sorry, guys. He's sorry. It's okay. <laughs> uh, you don't really, you not, definitely did not seem sorry based off of those murder plans, dude. They were so, like, meticulously planned out. You're sorry. There's no excuse. Is that all you have to say after killing someone? Plus killing two of our group. Do you know that makes you a serial killer? Weren't you very agitated and arguing back a little while ago, Uehara? <laughs> yeah, what happened to that, bro? Did you- why did you suddenly become so quiet? I only thought that more talk would delay the inevitable. I had a reason to live and survive this trial, even if I had to do that sin. Okay, oh, uh, it's probably the tape thing, right? That's right, if we found out that you did the murder, you're, you're going to die! We already knew that the moment he was caught. No, that's not the reason I did it. That's not it? Your motive? Was there something else? Motive. He got murdered to get out and escape. Tomori, was the secret note? Does that mean the original motives of all these events is the same this time? Was it the motive? Was it the motive this time? The thing that you desperately wanted in that video? 
and you wished for? <laughs> funny, it was just like, I don't know, like, what was in his tape? You know, he's like supposed to be like all priest-like and stuff, but it's just like, money and bitches. <laughs> it's like something totally opposite <laughs> from what you think. That was what I desired most. And once I saw that video, I knew I had to kill. I had to slay. You mean you had to wish that you wanted to get by killing two people? Wrong. There were there were a few things that must that must correct you before that. You were right about everything. The plan and killings are correct, but I didn't mean to kill two people from the start. Okay, I was wondering about that too. I'm gonna turn on the air a little bit more in my room. It's getting kind of hot in here. Ah. Uh. I just want to adjust it a little bit. Ah, uh, freaking Kenji. <laughs> Why does he gotta do this? Why you gotta be like that? Okay, I didn't mean to kill two people from the start. Okay. What did you mean to do, huh? Huh? You may look at this as an excuse, but only then that person's death will become colorless, so let me speak. Oh, thank you, Serpent, for the 99 cents donation. I appreciate that. Maida, your reasoning is wrong. Now, the only person I was trying to kill was Kanata and- Why, though? <laughs> Why? He did it in the end. It was too late and also too clumsy, clumsy to plan serial killings. Your execution had a sense of improvisation. First, according to the rules of the school, serial killing would be more damning than profitable for the culprit. Yeah, that is true. It's just more evidence to look through, you know? So what? Were you trying to kill one person to make your sin lighter? I assume he was gonna kill her just cause like, she really is like the most helpful when it comes to like examining bodies and stuff like that, you know? I mentioned this was not meant to be an excuse, but you're saying it that as it is one. However, I have something to say. I'd appreciate it if you listened quietly. So shut the fuck up, Kinjo. <laughs> Funny you say such a thing. Do you think I'm going to listen to a killer's request? Kinjo, I'm sorry, but try to be quiet. Try to shut the fuck up. Ch I actually listened. The reason I did this murder is not very relevant to your motives. You may have, you may have guessed, but I'll talk about that later. Inori was always in the infirmary, so she was easy, very easy to target. This probably happened during Tyra's uproar, so most of you were in the dormitory side. I took that gap and kidnapped Inori from the infirmary, moved to the art room on the third floor. Okay. And tried to stab Inori with the plaster weapon. Okay. However, that's when he came and threw me away. Oh, dang. The one and only Yamaguchi, who I thought was in the dormitory side with you guys. Oh! Trying to save her, dude. Fucking <laughs> Yamaguchi. He's a bro, dude. He's a bro. He's a real one to the very end. <laughs> Aww, man. Yamaguchi, what, what going on, Kenji? <laughs> and Nori, and you. Uehara, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Fucking Uehara. Stop. Aww. Oh, shit. Yeah, get him, boys. Get him. <laughs> Why is Uehara doing this? This is not the time for that. I have to take an Ori and run away. Aw, oh, man. Uh, run away, please. Damn it. Why is an Ori unconscious? Oh no, before that I have to get away from Uehara. I have to go and check where everyone is. Oh, shit. Ah! Fucking red eyes behind him. I want to summon Satan. You thought I was a priest for God, Weepy? Priest for Satan. Oh, he really did get hurt on the head then, so it was pretty easy to fake that. I didn't want to do this, but you forced me. I can't help it, Yamaguchi. I'm sorry. I didn't hold a grudge nor hatred. To both of you, forgive me. Oh, man. Freaking Kakuru was so sweet, even to the end, dude. Keep. Keep. Keep Inori alive. Oh, his last freaking words, dude. Oh my god. And then you didn't even, you couldn't even do that, bro. You couldn't even do that. It has already become reversible. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I know Inori. Besties, dude. Oh my god. Ah, that's so freaking sad. Oh, Yamaguchi. I knew he was precious. I needed to be protected at all costs. Why, man? Ah, literally the sweetest characters. 
And that guy was a wonderful person. How many people can run without having a single thought about their own lives to instead save others? Yeah, for real, dude. Then Yamaguchi died because he witnessed it, and you were forced to kill him. Aww. Yes, originally Anori should have been the one to be cut to death with a plaster weapon in the art room. However, because Yamaguchi intervened, I changed the plan in a rush. Ah. Now that I hear this, the front and back are starting to fit better. It was especially strange because Anori cannot as a white coat wiping the blood in the art room. Yeah. That can be helped, right? When you killed Kakaru, Yamaguchi, Kanata, and Nor- oh, Okay, so that makes sense. I was wondering- I was a little confused about the plaster and the coat use. I was like, you'd think that he would only need, like, one, but that makes more sense. The person he was holding- well, I don't know, I guess you do have to wipe stuff. Well, no, I guess- I don't know, never mind. <laughs> I'm overthinking this. The person he was holding had his blood splattered on her. That's true. Come to think of it, when Oihara said that he had a head injury, the wound was real. That was not acting, but being pushed by Yamaguchi. Yeah. Ugh. It's a good plan, though. So that's the story. Anyways, you're a serial killer who killed two people. That remains the same, no matter what you say to anybody. So I don't want any sob story, no trauma dumping, just get it. Get it started, Monokuma Chop Chop, like you did in the last one, okay? <laughs> but why did Uihara Kun- Why did Uihara Kun attempt to murder? I can't even imagine. It's hard to explain. How should I say this? I just love murdering. <laughs> oh, Kakaru cult. <laughs> we have formed another cult. Wait, before that, can I ask something? You, when Tyra's commotion happened, you said you kidnapped Anori. If Tyra didn't have a commotion, what would you have done? I mean, you wouldn't have known that it would have been difficult to schedule the kidnapping. Why are you asking for that so suddenly, Kurokawa? What are you trying to say? In other words, this is what the woman said. How did you know that Tyra's uproar would happen? Okay. Oh, they knew! Yeah. They triggered somehow? Think about it. If you had decided to kill, you would have had you would have had a plan to execute it in advance. How could they calculate the timing to kidnapping Kanata and Nori without knowing that everyone was gathered in the dormitory because of Tyra's bustle? Oh, interesting. How do you do that? <laughs> Well, I'm not sure that Tyra's situation, what Tyra's situation was in the first place. Oh, so after all, it was Kurokawa. You seem to have the power to pick up words, but it's very own core. It's natural to think like Kurokawa. It would be strange to hear that. The plan looks as if it knew in advance that Tyra would go out and make a ruckus. The answer to this is simple. It's because I knew in advance. Huh? How? The motive tape? Are you a psychotherapist? You knew Tyra's mental state and predicted the future! I don't think he's talking about that. Can, can you just like, uh, can you not, can you just not talk, Satsuki? <laughs> just stay quiet until the trial's over, okay? Speak, I'll listen to this. It's not that big of a mystery. Someone just informed me. Tyra's going to make a fuss soon. There'll be an empty frame for you. I'm guessing it's the motive video, right? Not anyone, not anyone can tell you that. Don't tell me. Mastermind? There's one more thing I have to apologize for doing to you guys. In particular, you, Maida. I should apologize more than the others. Huh? Yeah, I'm calling you a bitch and stuff. I... am... What? Yeah, it was a very obvious story that the leader from the darkness gave Kinji Uehara intimidation and threats from the shadows and led him that chance to kill! What? A couple of times! Well, what did you just say? <laughs> what? Uh, this is blimey! Why are you suddenly interrupting? Yeah, I was like, huh? Did you not hear me correctly? Then can I say it one more time? Also, I gotta kill Kenji right now! Right, right, very right now! Huh. Yeah, it was a very obvious story that the leader from the darkness gave Kenji Uehara intimidation and threats from the shadows and led him to that chance to kill! A couple of times! Wait, Harakun? The traitor? Uh, uh, wait, so he was the traitor? What? Anyways, that's the end of the story, so we're done chatting! If you guys continue going on and on like this, you'll be dragging again! Oh, I knew the culprit was Ansem. <laughs> I came from... <laughs> oh, yeah, the leader of darkness, of course. <laughs> what the fuck?
fuck? <laughs> like this, you'll be dragging again while doing reminiscent sense senses scenes or whatever. <laughs> oh, so the imposter was sus. Uh, uh, who would have guessed? <laughs> Thank you, Kua Poopa. Kua Poopa. <laughs> they really are just kind of like. I don't know, they're like going over it so quickly. I'm like, can, can we get him a little more explanation? <laughs> can we get a little more explanation on his traitorness and what he did and shit like that? Can I can I get some of that? Can I please? <laughs> can you please uh, <laughs> explain what exactly he did? <laughs> like this, you'll be dragging again while doing remini reminiscent scenes or whatever. Wait, you're the traitor, but you got blackmailed. What are you talking about? Yeah, it does seem exactly like Sakura's uh, situation. Even if I'm this traitor, I don't know much. I don't know who the mastermind is, and why the mastermind is doing this to us. However, when we first came here, Monokuma approached me and awoke me before you guys. Hey, Kenji, I know you're fucking crazy, so can you, uh, can you help me out here? They were holding our church's children hostage. They said they'll give me information, uh, and will release them if I do what I am told to do. Oh, did he tell him to kill, too? What in the heavens? Wait a minute, cathedral children? Calm down, speak slowly. The cathedral where I belong to, or the rather, or the rather, there's a facility that takes care of the children. Ah, oh, thank you, Kego Kev, for your, uh, the donation of 199. Ah, oh, thanks for coming to the stream too, Kev. Hope you're doing well. I need to reply to some of your messages, I'm sorry. I know I've been slow. I will reply in a little bit. Who have nowhere to go. That is entirely in the hands of Monokuma, yeah, like orphans and stuff. So I was threatened under that pretext. Wow, he really does have redemption. This is kind of unusual for a chapter three killer. <laughs> you, did you really fall for that kind of crap? What was all that was, that was all a bluff from that bear. That was not a bluff. He showed me the video and I was shown having a conver, a conversation with children, with the children myself. Oh, what did they ask? What were you instructed to do? Basically, I had a surveillance camera, so I, I was filming everything that was happening in every blind spot, and I'd send it to the mastermind. Oh, wow. Hmm. More importantly, if killing were happening between students, so there are blind spots, too. Interesting. It's kind of crazy that, um... Hmm. Kind of crazy that, um... There is blind spots, you know? Like, what are they gonna do, um... What are they gonna do now that he's gone? A serpent. The mastermind told Kenji to yassify someone. <laughs> he's gonna yassify you if you know what I mean. That's what he meant by yassify, what he did to Anori. <laughs> More importantly, if killing were happening between students, enter into stalemate, I would commit the murder myself. Oh, so that's what it is that he had to do, so. Dang, he actually is redeemable. What the heck? Oh, man. If I don't comply with this, they said he would murder the children instantly. Ah, oh, man, I hope they don't kill the children. I mean, he did. He did what he was supposed to, Monokuma. You were supposed to win, Kenji! I didn't have a choice. Ah. Uh, so, did you commit the murder because there was a deadlock after Yami Itano? That was the motive? So, this time, our motive, it was useless to anyone? If you look at it that way, if you look at it that way, you may not be able to see anything. But Monokuma, at that time, he said, is the time you are instructed to move. Was the time when the announcement of the motive came, yeah. In the completely soundproof private room, he showed me the children. If you kill this time, your children will be free. And if you don't get caught, you can get out from the school. Okay. Well, it seems like uh, at least they'll be able to be released. I hope. <laughs> can you really trust Monokuma, though? A fully soundproof room. No wonder, this motive was purely to deliver the orders to Kinji Uehara. Okay, so that's why he just showed porn to, <laughs> he just showed porn to all of us. <laughs> You are so using the lives of children to threaten Uehara kun Was that unfair? That'll make it easy for you! Woohoo! This is not blackmail! Oh shit, I skipped it! Ah! Uh, let me just wait until it comes up here. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. This is not blackmail! Ew. I just gave you a choice! Okay, still was too fast to read, whatever. <laughs> I he wanted to kill. He could have refused. I just gave him a choice. Not my fault. Don't mess with me. You said moments ago there were threats. Hey, you know, you know that was. It's a narrative thing. Don't think too deeply. <laughs> it's just a narrative thing, bro. The last time was so rotten because I couldn't let those children die. 
You guys, I really have no face to show you. Aw, man, you actually are redeemable. Of course, Kenjo's gonna be like, fuck off, I don't give a shit about no kids. <laughs> what is it like? It's gonna be like, uh, what's his face from your turn to die? Um, uh, uh, Kutaro. Fuck them kids! <laughs> of course, I understand to some extent that this was forced upon you. But would you still have to get your hands bloody? Was it that necessary to kill? Do you think those kids want you to be a bloody murderer? They would much rather die. I know, I'm good with kids, Kenji. Just like kids, don't want to be a killer. Don't want me to be a killer. I don't want the kids to lose their lives. There was only one way. It's enough with just me to fall into hell. Aw, man. Even sacrificing his afterlife, too. You don't want kids to lose their lives. Then are you saying when you kill someone, you don't know like Inori and Yamaguchi, they will lose their lives as well. Inori and Yamaguchi also have friends, family, and you say there, and you say there's some people you don't want them to die. You don't even know the details, and you are worried about the children, right? Strange, Kinjo. He looks kind. Of, it's kind of freaky. Strange, Kinjo. My logic shouldn't be any different from yours, but you're getting heated, aren't you? <laughs> the logic of a killer is the same as mine. What are you talking about? Discard prime numbers for the majority. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. I was like, even if he like, you know, I don't know, I figured that's kind of how he's able to justify it. It's like, if there's 20 kids he can save, then like, oh, killing one person is like, you know, justified to him. <clears throat> Isn't that what you said? I sacrificed the lives of 15 people and took the precedence over their lives of 100 cathedral children. Yeah, dang, 100, dude, that's crazy. Ugh. Oh man, is Kinjo gonna have like a mental breakdown? D does not compute. Uh, what do you mean good and evil isn't black and white? No, uh, 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 does not compute. <laughs> it just like breaks down. <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean I'm allowed to commit murder. But Kinjo, you put Mikaru, Tamori, and me in danger. The one who went saying the exact same thing. Wouldn't it be necessary to reconsider your stance at least once? I mean, Jesus Christ, Kinjo, you're like a child. Kinjo. Uh... Um, eh. and I know too well that I'm an ugly being. No, Kenji, you slay in more ways than one, but still. Oh, it won't be enough to go to the Lord's side, but it's enough to suffer, go to hell and die. Aw, oh, man, no, I feel sad. No, I'm not supposed to feel sad for a chapter three killer. This isn't right, but it's fine. Although I will not be able to meet those kids because I won't be able to live. I was able to save their lives with my sacrifice. That's so crazy, too, that he's actually, like, willing to give up his, uh, afterlife as well. Like, man. Because <sighs> I know how much it, like, would mean to him, like, to go to heaven, but he actually gave up that, too. Dude! Ah, man! No, Kenji, I still love you! <laughs> God freaking dang it! <laughs> oh, man. Why are you gonna make me like you again right before you die? Monokuma, you kept your promise. Oh, of course. Even though Ihara's crime was revealed and on the verge of being executed, he still murdered as I ordered him to. Since the moment you killed Yamaguchi-kun, the children have already been released. The children? They are safe, right? Ah, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. They're estimated to be safe, huh, Kenji? <laughs> you get it? Because I just say estimated sometimes <laughs> just to be a dick. <laughs> Are you curious? So do you want to see the proof then? Video, please. Oh, I get to see them? Oh, that's good at least. Okay. I was like, he should at least get freaking confirmation, confirmation before he dies. As the court is darkened, there is a noise on the screen that appears from somewhere. What is shown was winter in the dark street, less than four to five years old, mostly looking like elementary school students. It was the bodies of many children. Oh, shit. Some parts have already been corrupted, deformed, and transformed. Is <laughs> This does not seem like- This does not seem like you're keeping your fucking promise, Monokuma! There were kids whose bones began to appear. A child in its body had broken shape. That is unknowns to me. Only their small bodies were telling me that they were kids. Um. Dude, he really said fuck you, Kenji. Oh my god. I thought it was going to be like... 
I really thought it was gonna like switch for the better. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. That is, that is, oh my god, dude. That is so fucked up. Dude, poor Kenji. <laughs> poor Kenji, oh my god. Hey, did you play the wrong video? Those children, those close, Kana. Oh my god, this is why you don't fucking trust Monokuma. God dang. That's Haruki. That, that house from Mitsuki. Oh my god, no. Wait, Uehara? It was all for fucking nothing? Oh my god. Monokuma, how did this happen? Oh, oopsie, like I said, I just estimated they puke. I didn't really think you'd do that, Jesus. You, you promised. Huh, promised? Didn't I keep it? I definitely promised to release the kids. Oh, you didn't get it. I didn't say I'd let them live. I released them to heaven. Don't you like that? Aren't you into that stuff, Kenji? Have I ever told you I would let them be? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> for real. Lanouge, see it sincerely, what the fuck? I agree, Monkey. Oh my god. That is fucking crazy. Oh my god. What the fuck? I thought he would at least be like, oh see, Kenji, you betrayed me here, kind of, in some loophole, but he was just like, no, fuck you, Kenji, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm so sick of hearing these fucking yassified jokes from Weeby. I'm just gonna kill these damn kids. So really, it wasn't Kenji who said kill them damn kids, it was Monokuma. Literally, literally, dude. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. <sighs> literally died for nothing. Uihara, wake up! Scumbag! <laughs> For real. You, this isn't human! How could you do this? Because I am not a human, but a bear! Anyway, Harakun, don't be so sad. It's been a while since you've been dead anyways. What? It's been a while since- oh, they've been dead, probably. Soon you'll meet them! Oh, don't worry! Meet them? Oh, never mind, you're going to hell, huh? <laughs> Sorry! I guess you won't meet them, that sucks! Hey, poor Uehara! Oh my god, that would literally make it to where, like... Like... He's, like, separated from them for eternity because he killed somebody and was, like, willing to sacrifice his afterlife to go to hell just so, like, he could save the kids. And now he can't even, he's not even going to go to the same place. That's probably what he's going to be thinking about during his execution, about how he literally can never see them again. Not on Earth, not in Heaven. Like, that is so fucked up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, should we start soon? Execution time! I'll make you follow your kids, so be patient! Wait a minute, this is, this is too much! I'm sorry, but I don't have much time either. I got a busy schedule here. I got a lot of people to kill. A lot of children to kill, okay? Now then, let's get started. I prepared a very special punishment for Kenji Uehara, the ultimate priest. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. Oh my god, poor Kenji. Oh my god, I feel so bad for him, dude. This is cruel, man. Then let's go with lots of energy. It's punishment time. I mean, he must have really loved those kids to actually be willing to commit murder. To, like, save them. And then Monokuma... F ah! <laughs> oh, no! Not who we are! No! And he was actually a good person! God freaking dang it! Oh, my God. I'm scared, dude. This is gonna be creepy as hell. Uh, oh, my God. Are they gonna crucify him? No! <laughs> Die for your sins, Kenji! The ones I forced you to commit because I'm a fucking asshole! <laughs> and I killed the kids anyway! Woo! God freaking dang it. Kenji, just put it down. La, our father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. La chulai, I don't know what that, it's probably like Hebrew or something. Oh god, oh no, the holy nails! No, oh god, no, I hate this. Oh! <laughs> Oh god, it's already like causing him to bleed and stuff. Oh, poor Kenji, dude. <sighs> dude, dude, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. I gotta say, the execution for this execution is really good so far. This looks better than the other ones, I feel like. Holy crap. I'm sorry, guys. I'll read your donations afterwards.
Holy shit, dude. Okay, guys. Ah! Oh, shit. I was like, I want to move it to where the donations aren't covering the screen. Dang it. I don't know how to do that. Oh, oopsie. Oh, wait. Wait, can I do this? I'll pause it for a second then. Okay, okay, cool. There we go. Holy shit! Oh my god, he's launching him into space? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it literally, he's got like a little rocket, a jetpack at the bottom. Holy crap! What the fuck? Oh my god. Watch the world below you, Kenji, as you die. Oh man. Ah, shit. Oh, the grave right after it. Oh, Fuck you, Monokuma. Ah, oh, man. Damn it. Oh, God, that was a beautiful execution, though. I gotta say, man. Yeah, maybe I should edit the donations. I never even thought about that happening during a uh, during an execution. <laughs> oh man, that's fucking crazy, dude. What were the donations that I missed? Kinja, you'll die the way you lived, fabulously. Okay, kids, you're free. Time for tag. I'm gonna get a rifle. <laughs> yeah, basically. Man. Ah, that's so fucked up. Yeah, next time, um, just remind me next time. Next time, uh, I'll move the donation, uh, thing out of the way. So, uh, so, uh, it doesn't get on the screen. I was able to pause it at least, though. It was a pretty short execution as well. He was such a good priest. Man. Adios, Animan! Wow! This is unfair. This is really too much. Iwihara was killed. Like he got in Hitano. Horribly executed. Man. I miss him so much already. I miss him so much. Horribly executed. But Iwihara didn't stay sane until the end. He couldn't protect the children because he was tricked by Mon. That is so. Ah, oh, man, I was like thinking like, why would you trust Monokuma? I was like, I feel like Jinko always like kind of kept her word though with stuff. So I figured it'd be okay, but man, Sashay away. <laughs> Y'all stop. <laughs> the chat, Sa Sashay away, king. <laughs> but Uehara didn't stay sane until the end. He couldn't protect the children because he was tricked by Monokuma. Oh, thank you. That game of became an ultimate supreme leader. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. You guys have been so supportive of the stream. I really appreciate it. In the end, he killed Inori and Yamaguchi for nothing. With all the devastating facts, Uehara's spirit was broken. Execution executed thinking and recalling until the last minute. Ah! Kubasing, where are you going? This thing called Monokuma. Yeah, for real. I want to fuck him up too. I won't be satisfied until I beat that thing. If you do that, you'll just die alone. Why don't you stay still? Oh, that's right. If you're angry with me, you can't help it. Because it's you guys who did this. And I'm just following the rules. Poor little Monokuma. It's not a bad thing. You think you're smart, Monokuma. Huh? I never intended to sympathize with the killer, but this time it seems a little different. You always say, I, as the judge, should not participate in this trial. But in this case, you influence the case itself, let alone, alone the trial. According to Kinji Uehara, they were told that Taira would seize, would cause a commotion soon. Using that framework, Kinji Uehara was able to carry out the crime with ease. Yeah, for real, too. Oh my god. I kind of forgot about that part. This is not a motivation level or anything like that. You're fucking cheating, Monokuma. This is enough to call you an accomplice. How huh? is it really? What are you trying to say? What am I saying? That's what this side wants to say. What the hell do you want to do to us? If the purpose was to kill us, it would have been possible to annihilate all of us already. If that's not the case, it's also strange that they tried to kill us by buying a murder like in the case of Kinji Uehara. Yeah, Monokuma is fucking like really, uh, I don't know, he's really messing with these like cases a lot more, I feel like, than Junko did. There's no sense of purpose in your actions. What the hell are you after? Well, making us do all of this. Oh, Kenjo, you idiot! Where in the world would a mastermind tell you its purpose? Saying, yes, this is it. Well, even if I wanted to tell you, it's not worth telling you guys. It's boring anyways. I'm probably Junko. <laughs> Come on now. What do you mean? No big deal. Just that I ha had, had hate you. Uh, 
Oh, that, that's the motivation. Really? Eh, eh what? Eh, I fucking hate you guys! Y'all bullied me in high school! <laughs> I was the nerd! Monokuma, hey. Um... Monokuma used to speak and act as usual, suddenly stopped moving. As if it was a ridiculous act, he stiffened on the sp spot. As if time had stopped. What the fuck? <laughs> what was going on, dude? I'm like, hey. Was there, um... Huh. Is there, like, two people controlling him? Like, one wanted to tell them what the uh, reasoning was, and then the other was like, no, cut it out! Stop that! Maybe. I guess it was, like, Junko and Makuro were working together, so it might be kind of a similar situation, except, you know, Junko didn't kill <laughs> their accomplice. <laughs> they didn't kill their accomplice immediately. What happened? It suddenly freezed up. That's great. Let's just hit this one more time. Please, calm down! <gasps> what do you know, Makako? <gasps> Guys, let's go! Is he gonna explode? Where are we going? Why so suddenly, Makako-chan? There's no time. I'll explain it as we go. So where are we heading? <gasps> to the warehouse. Oh, yeah. Do it while he's knocked out. Hell yeah. Let's go investigate, boys. Do, 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 do. There's a secret stairs. There are secret stairs in the warehouse. Oh, yeah. I forgot. She didn't know that. Do, do. But we can't go down there anymore, right? Do you want to be honeycombed by that gun? Um. Oh, yeah. She's like, that's just not going to go off right now. <gasps> what? Oh, man. Maybe somebody's trying to stop the... <laughs> we can fix Monokuma. <laughs> the one singular mix stand. <laughs> I can fix him. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Uh, what was I... <laughs> I lost my train of thought. They're looking there. <laughs> eh? So I guess it's somebody trying to stop Monokuma. It's not like an accomplice thing. It's like somebody literally is just like trying to stop him for our sake. Nice, nice. Makako died! Oh, no! Oh. She seems okay, though. She's speaking Korean, though. What happened with that? What's up with that? What happened? The machine gun doesn't react at all. I'm not sure, but I guess that means Monokuma was lying. Why don't we do the chores later and go in already? Yay! We can actually see? Holy shit. Can we see the ultimate prisoner or whatever is down there? I don't think that was a lie. A machine gun is running properly. But it's not attacking us, right? Makuro Ikisaba! Hey, cold girl, you said you were gonna explain as we go. What the hell is all this? I noticed for a while before the class trial started, but I only noticed for a second. Now I can say for certain Monokuma had a power outage. Ah, it really is it then. Power outage? While Monokuma was shutting you down, all the school's facilities stopped operating. That's why there's no problem with this machine gun here. Or like entering the bathroom of the opposite sex and other things. You, you mean I can go to the women's bathroom? What am I doing here, dude? I'm gonna go up. Oh, man. No, no, just like, <laughs> that sounds like paradise. Yeah, yeah. Please ignore the pervert here and continue explaining. I've been investigating the secret stairs since I discovered it. I checked by throwing a barrel, but the machine gun reacted and responded. Wow, so it's safe because Monokuma stopped now. But what happens when Monokuma suddenly starts running? We all together be honeycomb. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't think this through? However, this crisis is an opportunity. We can finally check what's down here. Man, this is really long stairs. That's fine and all, but how the hell did you know all that? You know the structure. But more than that, you know how Monokuma operates. Um... What now? You've been good at talking and acting so far. Oh, we've experienced that already. When will the staircase end? How far down are we going? Jesus. We're here. Uh we get to see them. Oh my god, the person Monokuma was talking to. I want to see him. I want to see him. Oh, oh shit. Oh, they escaped, dude. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, wow. What do you... And she literally knows who is, like, trapped down here. I just can feel it. Is this a dead end rather than a way out? I thought the exit wouldn't come up so easily. Apart from that, this room seems quite interesting. A prison in such a deep underground. Is that it? Wow, you came, you came. Ah. Oh, boo! Before anything, well done! <laughs> Monokuma! How did you move? Well, maybe I just pretended to stop. Everything about that, everything about that, dumbass. What the heck? Putting that away. Putting that away, what are you talking about? I don't think you would let us go down here. 
didn't I tell you? There was a terrifying creature trapped under the staircase. They didn't dig a hole. It's kind of like what that looks like right there. <laughs> Doug. I just disposed of it a while ago. So if it weren't for me, you guys would have been in a terrible situation at that point. Dispose of it? There's no way. How? She knows. She knows who it is. Huh? I thought you guys would come here sooner or later, so I transferred it. This is not the only prison here. I don't know what you're talking about, but in the end, you're saying there isn't an escape route here? <laughs> Fuck no. Escape? <laughs> you guys, did you really just come down here hoping for a way out? Sorry, but there's no such thing. You guys are nuts if you think there's a way out. There's no other way than to kill. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like to watch killing each other anymore. I want to leave. Let me out of here. No, please. Someone save me. That's it. Become even more desperate. Cry more. I love drinking your tears. Okay. I was like, are they going to come out? I thought maybe they would come out. <laughs> it's Mitch. Oh, my God. It, what if it really was Mitch down there? <laughs> oh, God. He had no choice but to be helplessly beaten by Monokuma. Among the people among the people we had, two had an execution. There is no... Among, among the people we had, two, and an execution. There is no choice but to be in the palm of Monokuma. And we didn't know yet. What was coming next? <laughs> but the despair was just getting started. Can we like not believe Monokuma's motives anymore after this? Lamps below the betrayer. Okay, I didn't even read the title. That would have uh, maybe uh, <laughs> made the traitor thing not quite as uh, surprising. Holy crap, there's so many people that died in this chapter. It's crazy. Ah, we're like so low. No, not Kenji, no. My boy, my boy, dude. Ah, at least we still got Kenjo. Bro, he better not die. He better not freaking die, dude. Ah, about to revolt. Oh my god. Man. Ah, uh, it's so sad, dude. I really did not want it to be Kenji. Ah, oh, man. We've been going. How long have we been going for? Oh my god, two, three. Almost <laughs> four hours. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Dang, that's a pretty long stream. Man. Oh my gosh. I was going to say a joke, too, before Kakaru died. I was, like, thinking about it. I was like, yeah, whenever I get to the fourth chapter, I can make a joke about how, like, oh, Kakaru, you better, like, watch your step, buddy. But he's already gone, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't really think I have any chapter four predictions. I feel like Teruya might die or, like, I don't know, some of the stupid characters, like Haru, Teruya, or, like, Sasuke. <laughs> we have three of them, you know? It's like, I feel like one of them's got to go. <laughs> But, man, I'm sad about Kenji dying. I'm glad he was, like, redeemable in the end. Uh, but I'm still sad he's gone. We had so many good memes from Kenji. I'll probably end up doing his free time events the next video. I was thinking about doing it at the end of this video. But, uh, I don't know. It's been going on for a while. And I feel like usually the daily lives aren't quite as long as the, you know, the deadly life and, like, the uh, trials. So it'll probably be a good time to do it then. If I put him in the thumbnail, just don't ask, okay? <laughs> it's a memorial to Kenji, okay? So just don't even... So just don't ask, don't judge me. <laughs> Sometimes I may need to put dead people in the thumbnail if I haven't uh if I haven't used it yet, just don't uh just don't judge me. But um yeah, dang. <sighs> that was a good trial though. I do think that was like I don't know. Definitely very good in comparison to like the canon chapter three trials, because they're always pretty wild. <laughs> but um Yeah. Let's see. Kua Upa, just thank, just want to say thanks for the stream. It was so much fun. Ah, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate the uh, donation. Thanks, guys, for uh, coming. Oh, man. It's kind of funny. I'm trying to think. I don't even know who my prediction predictions for uh, survivors are at this point. I remember, like, uh, when I was asked about predictions for survivors, like, in Chapter 1, I remember saying Kazuna and Maki would be survivors, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> So I don't know if I'm really uh win the Mitch thumbnail. I was literally thinking of doing a Mitch thumbnail soon. I was like, just don't ask, don't judge, don't, you know, <laughs> don't just look away, look away, don't say anything. And don't think about it, okay? Because sometimes we're out of characters to put in the thumbnail <laughs> to put in the thumbnails. Oh man. But yeah, this was a this was a great time. We will be back next week at 2 p.m. Um <laughs> to uh stream again. 
And yeah, I'm excited to see the uh, fourth chapter. I've heard it's very sad. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, <laughs> pour holy water on myself and try to yassify myself <laughs> to cheer myself up, really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate all the love and support on the streams. And um, in the last video too, I will try to get a video up this week. Hopefully, um, I was thinking about doing a Gear to Die Wheel of Fate video. So either I'm gonna try that or another video idea I have um, kind of like lined up. A 2 p.m. Central Time. So it's 2 p.m. for me. It's probably 12 p.m. for you. But yeah, 2 p.m. Central Time is always going to be uh, the time that I stream generally. But yeah, uh, thanks, guys. Look forward to the next video and the next stream. And I'll see you later. Bye.